What's going on, everybody? What up, everybody? Excuse me. Wrong intro. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's the Sports Chasers Podcast coming to you live and direct. Yo, where it's currently 8 o'clock out here in the East, 7 in the Central, 6 p.m. out there for my mountain folks, and 5 p.m. in the rush hour drive for my West Coast folks. It's the Sports Chasers Podcast coming to you live and direct, where every week we talk sports. We talk sports with no hot takes. No nonsense. We give you live, authentic. How can I say it? Live, authentic things when it comes to sports, man. Yo, this week, we got a lot to get into this week. Yo, the NBA has been on fire the whole week. Yo, we'll talk about the James Harden trade. James Harden is going to the New, uh, excuse me, not New Jersey, to the Brooklyn Nets. Um... There's a lot of controversy surrounding that. You know, did the Nets need to make that trade? Who knows? Um, the Nets are still looking for Kyrie Irving. You know, and where's Kyrie? We don't know where Kyrie's at. We'll also dive into the wild card weekend last weekend where the NFL um, had a lot of good, exciting games last weekend. So we'll dive into that. Also, we'll talk about college football. Alabama wins the national championship again. Nick Saban, is he the best coach ever? Hmm. We'll see. Hot stove league with the uh, MLB. The Mets are uh, going for it. They made a couple moves. The NHL, they have started playing their um, 2021 season. And also, Nick Saban. Excuse me, not Nick Saban. Um... What's his name? Dorian's man. Urban Myers has got a got another head coaching gig. I guess he's not sick no more. He's coaching the Jags, man. Yo, we'll meet the crew. we we'll minus one tonight. Yo, what's up? We'll start with my man, the angry one, James Eric. What's up? What's going on? What's going on? How y'all living out there, man? Kev, what's really good with you, baby? I'm chilling, kid. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Another night, another night to get it on. Yes, sir. Now with the sports. Uh, D Dub, what's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Sports Chases Podcast, man. We doing it up tonight. Uh, got a lot of things to talk about. Got a lot of things to get to tonight. Last but not least, my man. The DA, Dorian Albritton, my man, what's up? Hey, what's up, fellas? You know, it's all good. Sports chasing therapy. We're about to do this up, man. Try to give you a little education if you can, you know, and protect you. So y'all not thinking one thing when it's the other. Yo, man, we are in here tonight. Yo, we're minus one tonight. Mike Mills took another PTO day. We was just clowning him. We say, oh, Mike ain't got no more PTO time no more. <laughs> uh, we know some are going to be working on Christmas Eve and Thanksgiving Eve. And, and we ain't donating no time, dog. Yeah, we somebody going to have to work. No so donations. So he going to get it, boy. Donations he gonna, can't be. Oh, he pulling all the short shifts, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mike Miller, no more work you. on Christmas, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, salute to yeah, the man. You got to build, you gotta build that bank back up. Build your bank. Build your time. Well, time in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is it, Cal? You minus eighteen, man. <laughs> in the box. Yeah. yo, we love you, Mike, man. We'll, we'll see you next week. Now, Mike had to take care of some things, man, and uh, he won't be with us this week, man. Um, his Ravens won last week, man. But before we get into the NFL, hey, we're gonna Uh-oh. go to the National Basketball Association to the hardwood. Yo, the NBA is on fire, man. Yo, on yesterday. Um, sitting at my desk at work and seeing all the things coming across the wire, across your phone. I see that uh, James Harden, the disgruntled one. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's mad. Yeah, he's disgruntled in then Houston. You know, he did all what he wanted to do in Houston, and now he said he wants out. Brother said, I did all I could do. That's what he said. He did all look I, at, I, he said, and if you look at his... Stands, I, I can't, I can't stand stands no more. more. <laughs> yeah. But if you look at that, did he really... You know, he he has to answer that for himself, but yeah, he got to look in the mirror, um, literally. Um, so James Harden gets traded by the um, Houston Rockets to the Brooklyn Nets. 
for like a gazillion draft picks. Um, Lavert goes to, yeah, we'll, we'll get into that. Say Lavert goes to, um, what did he go to? He went to Indiana. Indiana. He went to Indiana. Um, the other big boy went to uh, Jared Allen. Jared, went to, uh, went Jared to Allen Cleveland. and uh, what's your man Cleveland. name? Yeah. He went to Cleveland. Let me mm-hmm. let me let me be be doing dual roles here, you know, as as a moderator host. I'm gonna get in here and get some of this too. Uh, when I first started the trade, I was absolutely I was disappointed with the Brooklyn Nets. I thought the Nets were building something really, really good. And my opinion is, I think the Nets by bringing in this guy, James Harden, who's been disgruntled to say the least, right? Kind of not getting this way, not getting this way. And now he wants to be, he wants to be traded because now he's not getting this way. And I blame the Houston Houston Rockets organization for not being, in the words of my man, DA, not owning. General managers, not general managing. Coaches, not coaching. Players, not playing. Because when you got it, when you got the, the star team of the team saying, yo, we leave in LA, yo, we need to stop in, uh, stop over in Vegas for the night, man. I got, I got to hit this club. That's a problem, man, that he gets to elect to do that stuff, man. And that's just little things. Um, I just think the Nets have really messed themselves up for years to come. Me and DA had a, uh, had an awesome conversation yesterday um, and he, when DA was trying to explain that Kev just look at it from the owner standpoint, man, they, they, they here to get money, man. Who says they want to win all the time? And yeah, I thought about that, but I was That's like, winning. <laughs> go ahead, DA. That is winning. That's winning to anybody that has their own company, making money, making more money than you spent is winning. So if the Nets made this move. It may be like, you know, you guys have alluded to it. I'm sure we'll get into it. They don't trust that Kyrie is going to be around or whatever the case is. And they need a number two here. Because the one thing that you can say is in Houston, up until this year, I guess, James Harden plays. I mean, he plays, plays. Like, he plays until, like, literally the light in the car is on. The, the the arrows on E till there's absolutely nothing there. You know, he'll play till he can't play no more. And, you know, you always can give that to him. You know, he don't play no more. Nah, he, he always plays. Play. Yes, he plays. But he yeah. plays. So I guess they figure that that's good. And two, their job essentially is filling out that spot in Brooklyn. That's, that's what the number one job is. We all started started to think that owners all want to win. That's not true. Because if they all wanted to win, they would all act like winning owners. And they don't. They don't. Like, they straight up and down don't. You know, dudes don't do like the owners of teams that win. Because the template's there, they just don't do it. So, I'm not saying the Nets don't want to win. But what I'm saying is, Getting James Harden was not a winning move. It was a money move, you know, because, again, and, and I won't get too much into this China thing because that's real convoluted. But uh, the reality is that with that guy there and Kevin Durant, they're going to pack that sp- spot out once this COVID thing is over. They will pack it out, and that's for sure, for sure. Right. You know, so that's kind of where I see it. You know, I'm not saying it's the best basketball move, but maybe the best business move. Yeah, and and like I said, we'll get into Kyrie here in a little bit, but um, it was just disappointing to me, man. And and you know, not a not a Nets fan, you know, those, all those that follow me, you know, I'm a Knicks fan. Um, but it would have been exciting for the city for the you know the Nets to. It looks like they piecing all these these pieces together and. Uh, they definitely going for the going for the win now. They definitely we're going for now, not two years from now. They're going for it now, and I, I hope they they made the right decision because they went for it now. And if they don't win, it, it'll be like how it was with when they got Paul Pierce and ten years. Huh? I'm so sorry. they messed them up for ten years. They messed them up for a while. Yeah, they they first got there. You know, Hove was there. Yo, yo H to the Izzo, V to the Izzo. You know. <laughs> You know, you know, whole guy like one point, one point, 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 oh, oh, point percent of us, you know, it was all love. They did that and it was like, wow. So anyway, we'll segue to um, the angry one. Um, 
um, James Eric, he's got his Brooklyn hat on, you know, old to the Brooklyn Dodgers. Yes, sir. Yo, man, like much like much like our moderator Kev said, man, when I first heard this, man, I was utterly disgusted. <laughs> utterly disgusted because um, when you're a fan, I'm not, I'm not a diehard Brooklyn fan. Of course, I'm a root for the city. That's where we from. I'm a root, we, we, I'm, I'm blue and orange all the way through. But yeah, I, 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 I tip my cap to little brother whenever they doing good. Of course. So my first reaction was, here we go. Here we go. We stacking the deck, this and that, the third. All right. And then I thought about it. And I still feel the same way. Ain't nothing changed. I understand. Now, don't get me wrong. After I sat and thought about it, whatever, much like how DA said, I thought about it. And I'm like, okay, I understand. I understand. But here's the thing, right? Brooklyn, in my in, in my opinion, was the deepest team, if not the league, at least in the East. Okay. When all guys are healthy, even without league. Dinwiddie. Yeah. There are two teams. Yeah. So even without Dinwiddie, they still will pose a threat. Once they get their defense set and all this other stuff, they will pose a threat to anybody and everybody in the league. Okay. Here's the thing. I was talking to Daryl earlier about this, right? Here's my thing. No doubt the pieces that have left are not James Harden. We all know that. Well, I'm not going to sit up here and say, oh, well, da 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 da. I'm not going to say that. However, the pieces that left, James Harden can't fill their shoes either because you're not a shot blocker. You're not a dominant defender. You don't, you don't roam around the paint. You don't play defense. That's what at least three of them for a, three of the four of them dudes did. Torian Prince. Yeah, correct. Kuro, I'm sorry, I, I'm butchering his name. And Jared Allen. James Harden is all world scorer that he is. He can handle the rock. He can do amazing things offensively, defensively. You are not that guy. Okay, so uh, that that is my number one takeaway. No defense. And 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 the thing is, with the draft picks, at first I was like, man, what in the world are you doing? Basically, this man got on TV after that game and said, this team is horrible. We're not nowhere as good as we are. I'm talking about James Harden after the game with the Lakers. We are nowhere near the Lakers. This and the third. He basically laid this death sentence right then and there for Houston to make a move. But so you know, my first. You know, I'm sorry, E, but you know what's funny though? Yo, he had a team better than the Lakers a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yes, he did. And and you could say you could blame it on Chris Paul getting hurt. You could blame it on what have you. If you are a leader of the team, you supposed to gather up your many men and lead them to victory. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? It just wasn't that time at that time, I guess. Yeah, He's not a leader. Yeah, well, Jamie, oh, yeah, well, Jamie said blame it on alcohol. So what else are we gonna blame it on? I mean. You know, he's a scorer, but he was never a leader. Yeah. No, no he's he's never he's definitely not a leader. You can see that. Yeah. You can see that going yeah. forth. Yeah, you can see that. So with the picks, I was explaining explaining this to Daryl real quick. I'm gonna be real brief. No, and then good. I'm probably gonna take up like another 10, 15 minutes, but now nah, I'm gonna be real brief. So with the picks, right? So they sent four first rounders and they flopped another four. So that's potentially eight first round picks. You don't never know where they're going to land at. I mean, at least for the next two to three years, you have these stars here now. So, you know, that's probably the late first, maybe a second, whatever, however you want to look at it, right? But these picks don't always mean that they can build your future by drafting guys and building them up. You can also package these picks just like Brooklyn did and send them off somewhere else. That's what, that's how Boston got to where they at. That's how Philly got to where they at. I mean, so it, it all depends on how you look at things. So I'm not tripping off the draft picks. However, Kevin Durant, last time I checked, is what, 31 years of age? Correct. James Harden is 31. Kyrie Irving, where are you? Where is Kyrie? Um, he's 28 with a history of injuries. Dinwiddie is hurt. And I have my theories about the Dinwiddie situation. If Dinwiddie wouldn't have got hurt, I feel like Kyrie mm -hmm. Irving would have been gone. He would have been that's, gone. E. I, that's just my that's just my theory. Uh, I don't have no. Uh, this is not a a, a, a Darryl Broussard take. <laughs> I don't have no no sources or anything like that. That's just my opinion. 
But I, my sources is leading me. Yeah, yeah, I, nah, I ain't got no sources like that. But that's just my that's just my feeling on the situation, man. But um, at the end of the day, though, at the end, of, let's be clear: if they can ever get right, if James gets when James gets um, basketball ready, that is, they are going to wear out a lot of teams between just them two. And whenever Kyrie gets back, if he can get his head straight and get into the game and they can all buy into whatever Steve Nash is telling. It's gonna be awfully tough, man. James lose lose a little 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 bit of weight, look a little chunk. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not even gonna I'm not I'm not even gonna go into that. Uh you know, we've seen all the memes and everything now on James Harden, man. But yo man, you this it, your time is now. Your time is now. You guys yeah. is 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 at the at the at the pinnacle of your of, of your career now, okay, you are in your prime, steadily going down. So you gotta you gotta you tighten up. You gotta get it done now. All them all these egos and all this other stuff. It's about basketball. It's about winning. It's about Brooklyn. That's what y'all. That's what you sold the fans. Because at the end of the day, we talk about these players. We talk about these GMs, coaches, owners, whatever. We are for the fans. You know what I'm saying? And I'm quite sure there's a lot of people that is happy with this move. And there's a lot of people that is scratching their head at this shit. So, but at the end of the day, we'll see what goes on, man. History will right. write the check. Right. Let me read this by um, Bill Ryder from um, CBS Sports News. Uh, no more excuses. No more excuses. That ultimately will be the lasting reality behind Wednesday's four team blockbuster trade that sends disgruntled superstar James Harden to the Brooklyn Nets. No more excuses for Harden, who went full disgruntled to engineer his exit from Houston. None for Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant, none for Kyrie Irving, none for anyone in the Brooklyn Nets organization. On the surface, the move is a win for many of those involved. The Houston Rockets pull up the impressive haul of four first round draft picks and a legitimate star on the rise. Victor Oladipo pair, with, pair that with uh, John Wall and their future is bright even if it's a bit delayed. Karis LeVert to the Pacers is also an impressive addition to a team that's already formidable, well-coached, and capable of big, of big things. But the primary focus of the trade will fall on the Nets and on Harden himself. Make no mistake, Harden's inconsistent play behind the scenes, disrespect to his teammates and organization, and me before the team press conference self and his selfishness on Tuesday got him what he wanted. Now he has to prove it, and he are worth all their troubles. That's a, that's yeah, I don't a, I, I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't know if I agree with that, but you know, because ain't no one else, even though this is, you know, situation's weird in my estimation. Um, I didn't think it would happen because I didn't think it had to happen. I kind of think in business terms, but um, the reality is that even with this, no one else had pressure to win it the first year. Everybody knows that. They didn't ask LeBron to win it the first year. They ain't win it. You know, the first uh, uh, super team in Boston with, with uh, Kevin Garnett and, and Ray Allen and Paul Pierce, they didn't win their first year either. You oh, you're saying, you're saying that they, they didn't win it. You're saying there was no pressure. Because yeah. I was going to say with the big yeah. three with the Miami, yeah. absolutely. There was pressure. pressure. They didn't win it. So, you know, what I'm saying is that there is a history of it not happening because it's more than just it's on the court, you know. And, and right, this is a shorter season, right? This yes, seventy-two games. games, seventy-two. Yeah. yeah. So, so they're ten short. Um, ten I'm not short. sure how much that means um, from a basketball perspective. I, I'm really not, um, but I, I do think that there should be a bit of pressure because you forced your way out of somewhere, you know. Um, which I guess is the same pressure we put on Melo back in the days when he came to the Knicks from, from Denver, right? We thought he's going to come in and, you know, I mean, he did his, did the best he could, I guess, but I'm just had they sure. Had he just waited and had the organization yeah. waited, that's yeah. no he, here, no there, but yeah. it, it, this, mean, that know, would have been a, a different team and, yeah. and a well put together team at that time if he just waited. If he wanted to come, that would have been great, but you just you had to wait the season out. Yeah, he just did. You know why he didn't want to do that? There's, yeah. there's cash involved, right? There's money involved. So yeah, the money changes that. And I and like I tell you guys all the time, I ain't never got nothing with against guys getting their paper. 
Mm-hmm. Nope. You know what I mean? Um, nope. So nope. I, I, I think, like Eric said, the reality was that before this happened, the Nets might have been the only team in the league with two teams. Like they had the A squad and the B squad, both really, really good. Absolutely. Right? Now, in this new wave of basketball, so it's like, yeah, I mean, I, I just thought about it because uh, uh, he said it. Um, is that some coaches and GMs and scouts even put or uh, add value to mm-hmm. or seek to have? Because there's only one. Think of all the players playing basketball in the NBA, and there was only one team that we could single out and say, yo, they had 10 good dudes. So does that say, because you know, it's a copycat league, you know? So maybe the having the two team thing don't mean as much to everyone else. And why, you know, the Nets made the move, you know? And, and why, you know, they took the, they took the trade to do this, to do that, because Cats don't want to have two teams no more. Like I, I'm not sure because back when I was a kid, you didn't want to have a good bench. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense to have that because everybody's conditioning saying, is not not the same. This is what I'm saying, though. D is that no one else has one. Right. Why? Yeah. This, this is it's stupid. I, I mean, it. yeah. I, this well, is what, I'll so tell you that's why. Kind of what I'm thinking. Because, because you got you got some of these teams that stacked up. That's it. That's why you have teams that stack to death. You got the Lakers. You got the Nets. But the Lakers ain't got two. They don't have no, close no, 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 no. I'm not saying that they have two. I'm saying stack, meaning they have they have they have more at the top than they do spread out. Correct. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And like you said, it's a copycat league. So this is what's going on. The Clippers uh, last year and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Teams like Charlotte, teams like New Orleans, I'm sure they would wish they could have two teams because most of them don't have one. <laughs> this is why I'm saying maybe that's why the move was made from the Nets perspective. Okay. Because they don't feel having two teams is that important. You, uh, what's, what's your, you, you have to step away for a second. What's your right, story bro. on the whole? Um, what situation are we talking about? Uh, uh, James we're talking Harden? About the net, we're talking about the Harden trade. Harden trade. And the I effect. don't I I don't like it because I like having two teams. I like having a first team and my second team, because the reason is is that my so my star guys well can get, can get a breather because there's some there, there's some nights where your guys need a breather and if you if you're playing 82 games, you you have a team to you kind of have your B squad could go. Or maybe I don't have to let my A squad play as many minutes because we they don't put us up. The A squad don't put them up so many points, and the B squad could come in and finish it out. I agree with you. I would want me personally would want that type of team. I Why the Nets did what they did? I like James Harden as a talent. I'm just not with all these guys being on one team. I think James Harden can control and have a have a team of his own in Houston. He had two players. Who may not have been what they used to be, but they are still good enough to get you to a finals. I don't, I think. Think, he, I don't think he even knew how good they were. It, it, it just well, that's the problem. These guys don't believe in. They don't believe or see the talent, and they don't. They just or, he or sees his man Kevin Durant, and that's my man. Well, you know, well, that's the thing too. They weren't playing with their mans because the talent is the same, right? Especially. You know, right. Boogie Cousins is better than any big man they got. He's better than he, right to now. me. I, if you said Jared Allen, Boogie Cousins, who are you taking? I'll take Jared yeah. Allen, honestly. Uh, yeah, well, me, me too. Because right. of the way, a, only because good, of the way that I would, I would move my team. Just stretch your team. I can yeah. see that. I can but see I'm not, that. That's that's not a knock against Boogie. That's at not all. right. Boogie, but no, then no, I mean, no. I would say, you know what? I'm taking Boogie because I, I know what I get because I could get a little bit of everything from him. Because I, I think like Boogie, Boogie will bust, his, bust Jared Allen's ass if, if I got to get down on the low in the block. He might block a shot or two. Yeah, that's true. But I think Boogie still is, he can take him out deep, hit yeah. the three, things of that nature. Yeah. But that's just preference-wise. 
let me ask you this question. You go. Go I read this article for CB Sports, CBS Sports um, mm-hmm. online. Um, is this um, is this um, win, bus? The, do the Nets got to win it? Kev, Kev, Kev. I think all, all three of y'all agree. If they don't win, it's an absolute bus. And I don't want his, I don't want his shit from James Harden. The rest of these, I don't want him nothing. And it's uh, not uh, a knock on KD. And wait. because they, and it, it, this is going to happen to KD. It, it, is, it is sad. They're going to knock KD and say, oh, you had James Harden and you had Kyrie. But, and don't get me started that. on this guy. I wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me, let me start something. Okay, I already know what you said. They they're going to start it. I know, I know. Oh, no, it's, it's no, a shame. God, it's a shame because no, 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 it's not no, Kevin Durant's fault. The wheels, it's got not the Kevin grinding. Durant's fault. He gonna make me no. black my screen out. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not Kevin Durant's fault. I, 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 I'm just saying I, I, it right I, now. I'm just, I'm just telling you, your cohort who's on my left, and yeah, it's on my yeah, my right, your left. Uh, the DA, the district attorney, uh, Doria Albright, and said, I said they're not going with it. It's not going to happen. And yo, D, I agree. I think I don't think they're going to win. I really don't I, because I think history. the pressure, the pressure is so. And we talked about pressure. I think maybe two or three yeah. weeks ago. I think we brought it up. I brought it up to you guys that, that on a pre-show. Yes. The pressure now to win. You ain't got time for mistakes. The same thing happened in Miami. You ain't got no time. You got to win the first one, and they didn't. Because there was so team, much man. pressure. That Dallas team was better than what they thought. And Dirk the whiskey was nice. Go ahead, E. E, go ahead. Go ahead, E. No, I just want to say real quick. And what's added that nobody has even thought about is the added pressure of winning in New York. Absolutely. And not, no, 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 hold on, hold on. And not with the Knicks. Because remember, both of them guys shitted on the Knicks. Oh, who would want to play with that organization? Oh, we're going to do it here in Brooklyn. So you don't Back. put it, you don't put even more pressure more just pressure. within the five boroughs. Listen, if 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 y'all listening and y'all don't really know how, you know, y'all say there's four arrogant guys from New York. Let me tell you something. The pressure to win in New York, ask the New York Rangers. 40, what was it 50 years they was chanting, you know, 1940 when they won in 1994. That, 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 when Mark Messier said, yo, I, I want to come to the Apple, I want to win that joint. You know what I'm saying? There was a time in the 80s. from That's the from Dirk the late, Jeter gets so much the, respect. Right, from the late 70s to the late 80s. Nobody wanted to play for the Yankees and George Steinbrenner, even though they had won two championships from 77, 77 and 78. Nobody wanted to play with them. We, we, we went 81, didn't win nothing, but we got Yeah, we, we went to the yeah. World Cup, didn't win nothing, right? Look at the Mets. When the Mets won in 86, the Mets had won since 1969. And they own the city. So, yeah, if you come here, you look at the Giants. When the Giants first won with Phil Simms in 86, 87, they own the city. But to say that you're going to win, you better win here in the city, especially if you're great. If you say you got the talent and stuff like that, like I said, you look at the the, the Yankees run from 96 all the way to 2000, the early 2000s when they won, um, what is it, four out of six? Mm-hmm. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yo, it's so much pressure. It's, 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 it's so much, it's so much pressure, pressure that, that, especially that these guys York. didn't even want to go to the Knicks. That's how much pressure it is. Well, so not much shit. Even, I, I, even, I, even, I wouldn't have went to the Knicks either. The fucking dope. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I agree with you. Oh, hey, hey, but, but what I'm saying is, the, 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 and my, even, forget Dolan, just the, because, the Knicks have not won nothing in such a long time. 30, 40 years. No, it's 48 years. Last time the Knicks won was 1970. Okay. That they decided to go to a Brooklyn team that was a New Jersey, a failing New Jersey team that did nothing since what uh 2000, early 2000s when they when they went and, and met Shaq and Kobe. With Kittles and yeah. Dan with, with Kid and, and Kittles. Yeah. I thought they just, you know, for me. I hear you because it is pressure, and I understand that pressure. Um, mm-hmm. I think dudes that are sports guys will give them a play because they understand the Knicks organization ownership is a clusterfuck. Like no one wanted to go there, no one has wanted to go there in the last fifteen years. 
But it, so, it, it, again, the only way the Knicks is going to get better is through the draft and, yeah, yeah. and homegrown players. The That's route, the, the route only they way now. Yeah. that they're going to get better. Exactly. And what they the and on the road they're, they're doing, doing right, right now, this is perfect. I like the young kids, and they're coming up. And that, they, they haven't played so, well the last couple of games, but, you, you know, you're, yeah. you're right. You're right. Expectations are different, but, mm-hmm. you know, for them. But, again, the, the biggest thing the Nets should not do is talk. Yeah. There should be no talking. Just um, shut up and play ball. Just don't. And, 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 and I like, and, and hold on. And I like what Kevin Durant is doing. A lot of I people, I don't know what they're saying. He's one word in answers. How is it boy, playing with your old friend, James How Harden? How is it playing with James Harden? It's funny. Great. That's it. That's all you need to say. Um, what about the year when y'all guys? He was, it was fun. You know, it was it, fun. You know why he does that, right? Yeah, Stephen he, shit. Like he's not well, fucking with dudes. He no, like, not yeah, only not that, with dudes, he, he's keeping the media at bay because he knows how that that happens. How he knows how the media avalanche starts he, in a minute, and they'll use your words right against you. Yep. Shout out to Eddie. Less is more. Shout out to Eddie, shout out to Eddie Murray. Yeah. 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 So shout out to KD for doing what he's doing. I appreciate yep. it. Yep. Dudes, yep. keep yep. on doing it, and if he keeps on doing it like that, they won't have no problems. Yeah, I now, think they'll take a lot of pressure off of him. Let, let me let me go into this a little bit. Just just 30 seconds, maybe a minute of it. How many guys do we know that, you know, who was great players who didn't mess with the media? And I just shout out one of them, Eddie Murray. One of oh, them. yeah. Eddie Murray. It's Barry 20s. Bonds. My He's favorite. Barry. Barry Lamar. Lamar Bonds. He's yeah. telling, He's fuck you. I'm out. Mm-hmm. Um, Bounce. Who else? And, who you got? Who's your favorite that didn't mess with the media too much? Um... My personal favorite is uh, Marshawn Lynch. Yo, I'm just here so I won't get fined. I, I use that at work Marshawn, many a time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like clowning with y'all, man. I'm, I'm here to do my job, and that's it, man. That's it. Now, Indeed. You have an obligation and, to talk to the media, Marshawn and I Lynch. And, and, I, I did. And, I wish, I, and I wish more guys, you know what I'm saying, will understand that you don't have to tell your personal business. You, you know what I'm saying? Say Answer the question as minimal as you can. And you keep it moving. That's all, and that's it. Because but, everybody but, has a job. Everybody has a job. Everybody got a boss. That's what my man Da said. Everybody got a boss, me. Everybody like, got one, baby. Let me let me bring up this point when it comes to the media, right? Because we're the media now, right? And we always say that let's keep it what's on what's on the um, what's on the field, right? But there's the some in the media that want storylines. They have told you they want storylines. They yeah, like I'm not with it. Line. I'm not but, with it. I'm not. It, we're but, not the WWE. We're not WWF. Yeah. We're not none of that stuff. But it was funny. They used to clown Vince McMahon. Oh, well, yeah, I think yeah, Eric, yeah. we had that conversation before, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's called Booger Eaters. It's called Booger Eaters. Yeah. Yeah. They used to kill them. Oh, wow. And now. This one is not no sport. And look at them now. They, 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 having, they having lunch with Triple H and Vince McMahon and them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's I'm in the they... game uh, coming yeah. up next on sports <laughs> channel over there. We ain't but, gonna call but, them out. Yeah, we're not gonna call them out. Nope. But the reality is this, guys: if you love the sports, you'll watch it. There's enough storylines. Just in, you know, there was a trade. There's a lot around it. I try not to go into anything I don't know for sure, mm-hmm. right? Because so if, if I don't see it myself, then I can't say it happened. Right. I try to stay away from from shit like that because I'm not a, a a gossiping um you know whatever chatty patty. Wow, there you go. <laughs> exactly. And exactly. the reality is that from what we see right now, we all at least I think we all believe that Kyrie need to get his shit together. So if it's not together, 100. pack it up, pack it up tight together. You need to take it back to your boss at the job. Or take your shit that you packed up and leave the job, mm-hmm. right? Because uh, it, it just understands the second one comes with giving back money. Just understand. That. Oh yes, and, they, on, and, and they will. It. They will void that contract. There ain't no problem. With, uh, yo, listen, that. if he, if he is so convicted in whatever the hell he believes in, mm-hmm. if that's how you getting down. You can be Muhammad Ali and bounce and not get no money for two, three years. Mm-hmm. And and you could, you know, climb mountains and do all kind of shit. Ricky Williams. Ricky and, Williams, and, yes. And be all right. You know, if but, you want to do it. If you have a, like, I, I, I got, 
I didn't really understand understand the Ricky Williams thing at first. But when you watch the 30 and 30 on him, it puts you in trap with the whole thing, man. And he was, he was, his head was actually right the whole time. He was just a little bit ahead of sports mm-hmm. because he had pains, you know, and things like that. And they he ain't want to take the pills. He's ready to smoke that butt, but he wasn't trying to take no oxy, you know, and this, that, and the third. You know, right. so now the league is like, yo, look, man, don't take the oxy. We won't test you for smoking. They know NFL dudes smoke all the damn time because they ain't paying all the goddamn time. Right. So, and then, you know, again, if you look at the 30 for 30, it at least gave me a different perspective on Ricky. Like, I right. thought he was just an idiot, you know. But so, I mean, Kyrie, I always say that history tells the story. We don't know where Kyrie's going to end up at, you know. But if he comes back, that team is going to win a lot of games. I just don't think they'll win a championship. Right. You know, because that, they won't have the cohesiveness because they're not cohesive dudes. Two of them dudes with old friends from it's like me and D and me and E. So, you know, say E living out in Long Island, he my Long Island's people. Down my Brooklyn people. And I'm KD. So, you know, Harden is his man from OKC, you know, and Kyrie's his man from blah, blah, blah. I don't know if he's a leader, but he's the only one that you guys said before the show that'll be able to bring this thing together. If it comes together, it, it's going to be on his back. I, uh, I'm 100% I agree like, with I you. I don't think it's going to be any coaches. I don't think it's going to be any ownership or anything like that. I feel like if these dudes love the game of basketball, which I feel, I don't think Harden loves it as much as KD, because yeah. I think you... I think anybody anybody that watches KD watches him prepare the whole time that he was out with that with that with those injuries and whatnot, and to see him come back now, he's focused now. Yo, know, you you could tell he is a baller. Like Derrick Rose is a baller. Like guys that go through Kobe Bryant, guys that they're driven by just being the best, not getting the most money or setting record, but being the absolute best. I think Kyrie is in that discussion. I just feel like Kyrie has some other motives that's in his head now that's outside of basketball. But on a, I will say this, and I spoke to D about this earlier. As much as we say, yo, Kyrie, where are you or whatever, whatever, I'm going to say to Brooklyn, where's your man's at? Because y'all are the ones, y'all are the ones that's you know you you the you the mother and the father. Where your kids at? It's it's not hey. it's ten o'clock. Where your kids hey. at? You don't know hey. say it's getting dark outside. I I won't give you a little pushback. And and, and Brooklyn the Brooklyn Nets are saying, Yo KD, that's your man. Where's your man? <laughs> Where's your man at? <laughs> Brooklyn's asking the same thing. No, no. No, no, I'm not putting. But that at on. the same time, though, KD ain't signed that contract. KD, what's your man? So that's that's Brooklyn's. Yeah, I you know, know, I know. Yeah, yeah. I had to mess with you. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah it's it's now, it's now certain now certain people. If so, if I would say if KD was a, a different kind of leader, he might have said something to him. But I think KD is like, yo, that dude is grown, man. He does what he want to do, man. You know, whatever. He comes, he comes. He's not, he's not. I just hope he's well. That's why I'm, I'm thinking where KD's head is at, and. I can't force nobody to be like that. Mm-hmm. All right. We can't. We can't. We absolutely can't. Everybody, everybody wanted Eli Manning to be this vocal leader and all this other stuff. And uh, Eli great, just played. Great example. You know what I'm great saying? Example. He just played. Yeah, he, that's a great example. Eric. Everybody is not this vocal guy that's going to grab cats by the horns and all this other stuff, man. There's different levels, man. There's different and you types. you ain't got to be that guy. And, you and ain't got to be all that. that. There's a uh, lot of there's a lot of ways to lead, and you don't have to be this this thing that we 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 we've seen in um, movies and, and 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 these depicted it like you got to be that guy. You ain't got to be that guy. Any given Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, you ain't got to be the lion. You got if you ain't do the lion, you ain't got the lion. Come on, man, stop. It's not like that, man. You ain't. You it's all always other ways to lead, man. Yeah, I think he's learning too. So you know, us being older. We kind of laugh now, but you know, from kids to money to a lot of things in our lives, 
go back to 31, you you kind of feel like, damn, shit, I'm an asshole, you know? Things yeah. you could have been doing or could have had or was doing even back then. A lot of you it, know? exactly what you're saying, D. It's maturity, man. It's a maturity Correct. thing. So, yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I'm hoping he can do but that. But I, if anybody could do it, I, I got faith in KD. I think he, you I, know, yeah. I think I think he 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 loves the game that much. He'll play for free. That's that's one of the, that's that's how he comes across. And you know the other yeah. thing too, fellas. I mean, I'm keeping on it. You know me. He's chasing something right now. Oh, and yeah. the dude's still in the league. So you know, it's that basketball shit that's always been. So now LeBron is the dude. And it's supposed to be KD as a young guy got to hunt. And you know, in the NBA, dog, if the dude don't retire early like Jordan, you're supposed to hunt him down and kill him. Oh, yellow, take him in the back. And, and so that's that's KD's thing. Pow. KD got some shit with him, like, yo, he got to go out there and get LeBron and, and hunt him down and kill him before it's you about- start thinking it's, it's, it's Murray or. It's meant to be. After that, it's problem solving. Sorry, hey, problem. Yeah, what's up? That was that. Yeah, that yeah was but that. if anybody who I believe who could do it is that man. It has to be. I'm riding with him. I, I think he could do it. I think he could shut both of them down, to tell you the truth. Well, you know, before they retire or they give it to Murray or my man out there with uh, the Jazz, my man Spider, you know, because that's all they're waiting is for another playoff like that outside of the bubble, mm-hmm. you know, two guys throwing up 50s every game. That's what they want to see, you know? Action. That's what they want to see. So, what the hell is that? It's Kevin over there playing around. No, it's technical. It's, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Yo, man, loosen up your tie a little bit, man. It's all right, man. Yeah, no. Good. Go ahead. Yeah, but that's that's so all. I, I, you know, shit. I think they'll right. be fine. But it's been a... a Listen, my last basketball talk here, fellas. Yeah, we're gonna have the rest of the time. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. You know, I ain't really getting into no more basketball till after March. All right. Can I cannot get with these, huh? Yeah, what I don't give a fuck about no more. Cadets. Those <laughs> kids need to be home. But um, I can't do many more. But 70s. you were watching the I can't do game many more Monday. 70 to 70 at the half. I can't do it. Yo, I can't do the, it. The lack of defense, man. And I mean, these guys ain't talking about it because, you know, they love and it. I don't know why they're not talking about it because the Raiders is is steadily dropping, and it could be from any other all the all the reasons from, you know, from all the stuff that's going on, and but the game itself, I'm with you, D. This the the seventy the seventy to seventy five eighty at the ha- half. That just should not be. Just my opinion. Just my. Nah, fuck I mean, that. We, fuck, we, nah, we, fuck your opinion, D. You right. You <laughs> right, man. In, in the era we came up in, you know, that the guys were playing defense, man. That your your job is to play offense, also to put the ball in the basket. But your your other job is to play defense. Right, and we just haven't. Man. We just don't see that as much. Yeah, That's man. why I I'm flipping channels. I mean, you know, I'm looking at the game. I'm like, yeah, I just flipped the Houston uh, San Antonio game. That was yeah. one. I, 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 uh. I got hockey on right now, to be honest with you. Washington is whooping. Yes. Oh, Buffalo scored again. No more. Um, I'm going to just say this real quick. Um, I'm with y'all. You know, we come from that era. We come from that claw. But it's just, this This is the unfortunate thing, man. It's, it's a lot of change going on in the world. Like, we talk about sports. There's no defense being played. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, in, in, in basketball, in the NFL, you know, they try to make it a passing league championships. I mean, defense still wins championships. So, um, you know, oh, you don't need the running back no more. Well, last time I checked, you need two. So you can't just dismiss the running game. Um, well, that, that theory went out the window when they said that, you know, but go ahead. Yeah, you know. They and, keep on and, trying to force that that narrative. Oh, cool. you know, exactly. and, 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 and and look at like in, in I'm, I'm just cross over to hip hop real quick. You know what I'm saying? Back in our era, you had to be a lyricist at some point. You you know what I'm saying? You can't do this bubblegum shit that they got going on now. But it is what it is, man. This is the times that we live in, man. I'm, I'm just thankful for the guys that still believe in rolling their sleeves up and going to work and 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 being an all-around, 
all around player that they that they can be. You know, it's not just offense or it's not just defense. It's not the two way player. No, this is just being a great player. So, but whatever. I digress, man. Shout out to um, the Brooklyn Nets. I hope y'all. I hope y'all y'all get it done, man. Before these guys sign off, you got three years. Yeah, shout out to the Nets, man. We'll we'll talk about a little bit more basketball next week, man. But um, yeah, very interesting, interesting times in the NBA. We'll cross the NBA off right now, and we'll go on to the National Football League, where last week, last week, the wild card um games were in um progress and played out, and. We had the Saints beating down the Bears 21-9. Titans defeated by the Ravens 20-13. The Buccaneers defeated the Washington Football Club 31-23. The Rams defeat the Seahawks um, 30-20. And um, my favorite for the playoffs this year, because my Giants are not in it, the Bills, they beat the Colts 27-24. We'll start off real quick with the game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh Uh-oh. 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 You got my man Ben. Benny Ben from Pitt mm. took an L E L. One of hot now he took an L E L. Yeah, one of the hot L sandwiches. My yeah. man, my my man didn't even get down on the football when it was on the ground. Now y'all want to talk about somebody that needs to retire? Yeah. And Don't you know what? Again, well, I didn't what? hear none of these talking heads. None of these talking heads talked about Big Ben. Not yeah, hopping on that football. Well, I didn't oh, hear one. It did it, I, did it y'all? The Super Bowl. It wasn't the Super Bowl. So I wouldn't jump. care if it was a a a, a pee wee ball. Tidy bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was I, a ball. I, I'll guess what's off with this game. I'm I'm so sorry. My my screen well was a little bit small. I should have enlarged it. The Browns in the on the Sunday night game they defeat the Steelers forty eight to thirty seven. The Browns got off to a twenty one nothing start and didn't look back and. 28 nothing. 28 nothing start and they shocked the world, so to speak. I actually picked them. Um, the Steelers started off 11 and 0. And they lost the last five out of the last six. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, down the I, I even said, if we can pull back some of the records. I even said, yo, the Steelers are like the wackiest 11 and 0 team ever because they don't run the ball. And we'll, we'll, we'll start off with, um, the DA and we'll see because he had man. Uh, I'm a Tomlin dude. I'm a Tomlin dude, right? Burger. I'm Go down ahead. with your man Tomlin, like for real. That's my dude. Um Ben Roethlisberger is owed 41.3 million dollars. Almost if he plays next 70 percent of the daggone salary of the whole team. Mm-hmm. Wow. For a dude that threw what four or five interceptions? Let me let me he do that. Not one, serious. not two, not three, not three, but four. So he could, and he didn't have any of the other bees to blame it on because Le'Veon Bell was gone and Antonio Brown was gone, so he couldn't blame it on somebody else. He blamed it on Juju because Juju seems to be a fool. But Juju that likes being him. said, they cannot. Pay the rest of the team and keep him. And I don't care. They don't even have a contingency plan. So that's what hurts me with Tomlin. Because I always think you need to have that next quarterback, you know, like in your back pocket. So your first gun jams, don't worry about it. Drop it, pull the next one, let's go. Dude, listen, he's, he's about excuses. That's tap, rack, and release for y'all going to gun owners. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think I was looking at pro football focus this morning. Uh, and that's the only show I really watched with young Sims and, and old boy. Um, and they said it. They was like, yo, dude's yo, not D, worth that kind of money, man. D, real quick. Roethlisberger, who will be 39 next season, has said repeatedly he plans to play out his contract which expires after the 2021 season. But he is scheduled to count 41.25 million against the salary cap, which represents 23.7% of the Steelers total payroll. If he I, wants I to, to play, be, yeah. he has to go back to the ATM and deposit some of that money so the team can win, if he uh, wants to play. 
it's not the does he car. have to stand tall or does he be does he is he in a wheelchair? I mean in a wheelchair for all I care, man, but <laughs> he's got to get some of the money back. There's no way. How much what would you say? Forty one percent? Yeah, they can't. No, no, they no, twenty three point seven percent. You know what I'm saying? Cap, what, but what, he's making forty one he's making forty one million. I mean, that's many, a lot of fuck. That's a lot of money. How many times have we kept talking on the show the last since we've been on that you cannot pay the quarterback or any team member all the money? You will not have a team. You will not have a team. That's why I respect Russell Wilson for saying, "Get on my back. I'm gonna take the money and I'm gonna make it work." But we'll talk about Russell here in a second because he yeah, got. But mm, I will I, I, we'll see I'm how that sure. works. From <laughs> you got to get rid of. You gotta get rid of them dudes, man. Um, that that are taking up that much salary. They need to, and he um, was hurt, and Big Ben was hurt last year. So I thought that would have been the opportunity and the time for them to be like, "Yo, let me go. Let's go look for another quarterback." Let's go. We are, you know what Ben does, right? He sabotages that situation because when they bring in young quarterbacks, what does he say? Yo, it's not my job to help them get better. Mm. Job mm, security, mm, mm. dog. And he said it with the kid Rudolph. The guy hitting the head with the helmet. He said it, man. It's not my job to make sure he's this or do that. And the guy said this morning, he said, listen, man, people in the league, not everybody loves Ben. Because that thing that happened in Georgia, he said for a lot of people, it still rides with him. They just said it this morning. I'm like, wow. I haven't <laughs> heard anybody talk about that in a very long time. And I won't get into it, but just... Go Ben Roethlisberger, Georgia, and then bathroom, and you'll see it was it was uh, um, yeah not good. Um, but on, conversely, no. Conversely, the, the real deal is that listen, the the Browns have a roster that is young. They don't pay Baker Mayfield that much money. I nope. think they maybe have two years left on this on this contract. They're not paying guys a lot of money. This is why you have a chub. Uh, Kareem Hunt came because he got cut by the uh, Kansas City. So he's taking like a million dollars. You know, saying Miles Garrett gets played because he's first pick, you know. But for the most part, the rest of the team are, are kind of guys that just came together. They're not paying anybody a lot of money. But you this know? is the formula oh, yeah, to we, we winning. Know and I don't understand how these people in the NFL are saying other than that, but this is the formula for winning. You pay the quarterback little to no money, right? As long as he's good, right? You run the ball, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have a great defense or better than average defense and you can win. You can uh, win. Well, that's my, thing, my, my last thing, Kevin, is this. You know what this is? It's New York Transit, dog. When you about to get on your last year, and you you know you get that hookup, so you get to work a bunch of overtime your last year, yeah. the last two years, and then you retire, and all that money's yours. Yeah, this is what we have now. They want to make sure that your Ryan's and your uh, Pat Stafford's and all those cats continue to get money on their way out the door, and they shouldn't. Just time Kobe, to cut them. And put some Kobe was one of them too. In there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless the dead. Yeah. God bless the dead. But you know, Kobe, he, he had he had the Lakers by the balls to yeah. had all. They can't do nothing. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I said it. Yeah, we were quiet. Yeah. No, no, it, it, it happened. It, it yeah. don't lie. It's yeah. bad shit. Kobe took the money. He was getting paid, but he was out. He was out. He was, he, he was out. I mean, you know. In a salary cap was. sport, in a salary cap sport, it's kind of hard to do that, man. And this is what happens. And you're right. Kobe took the money, and and, and the Lakers wasn't that good. If we don't you know, let's not Lakers. let's not forget the Lakers was trash. It was only Kobe Bryant. Yeah, he scored 81 points. He scored Kobe 80. Kobe Bryant. Uh, we love Kobe, man. Yo, we love Kobe, man. But you know the real it is. He he wanted his money, man. And he uh, you know he deserved the money. He deserved his money at the time. See, this is where we get confused at. You know what I'm saying? With the, the money, what are we paying you for? Are we paying you for when you're young? Are we paying for what you used to do or what you did in the past? And that's what Albert Pujols, he took all the money. <laughs> they still paying him. 
That's a good. And he ain't never been the same since that left that Stewart. year that he went. He's he he hit all those home runs. The first year he went to to the Angels, he was yeah. good. And after that, he, he was no been, good. After he all, he's still, playing. he's still playing. He's still playing, but he's forty five. So he's still he's playing. fat. Albert Pujols now. He's not. He's not the same guy. See, this is why this is why the NFL to me will always get it right because um you don't have these guaranteed contracts and they have it to where you can come back and recon and restructure, restructure contracts. It. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? 100 and right. which I don't understand is why Pittsburgh hasn't, I don't well, I can't say that they haven't, but I would think that that conversation is to be had. Hey, hey Ben, check this out. Um, you you hitting for forty one uh, this coming year? Yo, what you gonna do? Mm -hmm. You gonna re, re uh, restructure? If he says no, snip snip snip. If you want to come back, you'll take less money. Like that conversation had to be had like before they got to this game on last Sunday night, right? Uh, I would think. Well, then because again, you know what you're dealing with. We we don't know we don't know what goes on in that locker room. I feel like, and I'm not hating on Pittsburgh or anything, but no. I feel like they have a certain kind of borderline cockiness to them mm -hmm. and i'm talking about the players not tomlin mm -hmm. but i'm talking about the players i don't think they had a thought in the world that they was going to lose that game no chance no i didn't either e. i didn't either you didn't think that you, you oh no i'm talking about the players i'm not talking about us i'm talking about oh. the players on that team they like cleveland man we gonna dust them. Well, yeah because uh juju said it yeah it's it's cleveland <laughs> oh you know, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. See, I'm not gonna say that they lost because of Juju. That would be like stupid. But Juju need to shut his mouth. Yeah. I. Or, or that it gets back to what we be talking about, knowing what to say. And I know these guys are young, and they just want to be popping off, and just to pop off. But you know, like it's just stuff that you don't. You know, come on. Yeah. You just you just bring it's unnecessary it's attention even, to, to your team, man. Just, right now. Not it's like yo, why, why, why are you bringing this, this to the team? It doesn't. It's not. It's not. It's not warranted. So, but um, not to say that's why the reason why they lost. Uh, Cleveland. Cleveland was like on the A game, uh, except for that fumble. I, yo, I think maybe we might have had a better game, and poss if he just jumped on the ball. Yo, I, I think that was just ridiculous that he had an opportunity to fall on the ball before he went in the end zone and he sat around there acting like he, he was it was like a, a fire and he had his hands up and I'm like well, well when are you going to jump on the ball and and he didn't jump on the ball and I was like wow and then, and then what really got me you know as the score went up to 28 and I cut it off I came back to it later but I you know it was no threat um Pittsburgh was no threat to to right. do anything but to, you know, again, when we talk about, and just see how the double standard is, like with Cam Newton in the Super Bowl, nothing said. I mean, it was all this talk about Cam and how he should, and Cam is not da 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 da. And then you got the same guy, same, uh, Ben Roethlisberger, same situation, and none of these guys said anything about it. like. Why didn't he jump on the ball? Why? Because if he jumps on the ball, at, at least let, let's just say for argument's sake, if he jumps on the ball, it's not we're not starting off seven nothing. Maybe right. and maybe things change. We don't know, but just just say just say it, it doesn't it doesn't snowball up to fourteen. I mean, you know, I, I don't they know. want no smoke. <laughs> That's what it was, basically. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You know, you know hey, we we talked we talked more about congratulations this. to the Browns. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We we talked a lot about the Steelers. Congratulations to the Cleveland Browns. I actually picked you guys to win. And congratulations you know, to the Browns, man. Hey, I'm I'm happy for Baker Mayfield, man. You know, absolutely. I got uh, and Baker Mayfield has learned the art of just shutting up and just playing. Yes. Good for him. And mm -hmm. I think that's huge that he 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 that he does that. Um. Uh, uh, one hundred. Just, just play, just just play, man. He's got supporting cast around him, and um, somebody brought I like up it. The, uh, somebody brought this up the other day, and I looked at. Uh, I don't even know. I should say it. Um, Go ahead. Where, where is is OBJ coming back? Man, listen. I told you. I, <laughs> I, I already said it. You, 
you know, nice talent, great player. It's not necessarily that you need that guy. And why? Because the pressure is all Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield just feels like he has to go to OBJ. And now you don't, when you don't, when you don't have that superstar guy, you don't feel like you got to force the ball to him. And that's what I felt like he was doing because it's OBJ. And, you know, we, he's so enamored with OBJ. And I got to get him the ball and to make sure that he likes me and I like him and we want to say, and he doesn't have that. It's not, you you can see the way he's playing. He's yeah, playing 100% yeah. with confidence now. It's kind of like, I don't know if this is a good comparison, but I do remember when the Giants, when um, Eli Manning first started, and Jeremy Shockey, uh, Jeremy, not only Jeremy Shockey, but um, Tiki Barber too. Yeah. No, they would give Eli the business. And soon as the Giants got rid of both of them, they Shockey got rid of Jer thing. Jeremy Shockey and, <laughs> and, 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 and Tiki. I don't know what, I forget what happened to Tiki. Tiki retired or I think, I think Tiki, Tiki retired. retired. That's what it was. But I know for sure they got rid of Shockey. Shockey went and, to the sink. And Eli relaxed. You just see, he just relaxed it. And he got it to the guys that was producing. And, and here's the funny part about it. Eli replaced a Hall of Famer. Ain't that right, uh, DA? Yeah, that's DA's man. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt, the, the Hall of Famer, Kurt Warner. Yo, Kurt Warner. Ain't that right, D? <laughs> Kurt Warner got a snap and walked backwards out the end zone in the game. So I think he might have been getting high in those years, but he was with. Yo, that's oh, that's DA's man, Kirk. Uh, yeah, Kirk Warner, the Hall of Famer, the Hall of Famer with that yellow jacket. Yeah, we gotta talk about that one day too. Man. Next game, yeah, next yeah, game, next game. We got a bunch of topics that you know. Well, I'm gonna just yeah, say real quick because Kev about to skip me again. We ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna give him the opportunity. I'm just say, congrats to the Cleveland Browns. Played an excellent game. And I, I will say this, and, and, and Daryl, I hear you, you know, I, I give you grief, but I hear you 100% on the OBJ thing. Uh -oh. I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna just say this, I'm gonna put this out there. I'm gonna just put this out there. Yeah, I, I, I think- I'm sorry, I thought you talked, but I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna just say this. It's gonna come down somewhere down the line that Cleveland may face, and it might be Kansas City, I doubt it, but um, they're gonna come down the line to where it's, they're not going to have those gaping holes that they've had these past couple of games. It might get a little tight. And my thing is, and I've said this a couple of times with me and Mike going back and forth about Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry is not that guy if you think he's going to win you. When you need yeah, that big. third down, that third and 12, big when you big. need that third and nine, Jarvis Landry is not that guy. He's around. Um, that's he's just, and I, and, I, and I get no, I'm not. I'm not talking about the prima donnas. I don't put OBJ with the prima donnas because you're talking about the Chad Johnsons of the world. I, I I don't put him. I put him in between Chad Johnson and you know some of these other guys because he has delivered time and time again when you need him to. I but got you. we'll see. But well, right now, him, I right now they're playing though. well. They about their run game. They about their defense, and and I hope they run it nah. all the way to the Super Bowl. I'm with you on that run but game. They run game, yeah. they, they run game is, is awesome. And that's what we talked about that earlier this year. If they just commit to the run game, everything else will open up for them. And it, it has since they've been following in that, that formula right now. They got the they got the guys. They got two right. good running backs. They can do for it. Now. But right now, no, no yeah, nobody now. gets hurt. Yeah, but you know, that's the thing. D, mm -hmm. D always hits me with that OBJ show. I'm like, yo, I like OBJ. I'm like the dude ain't getting trouble like in three. The dude ain't getting trouble in like three years. Like he hasn't had no. He ain't, re he ain't in really been years. in trouble, D. There's nothing that you he's know? done other than the boat trip. Yeah, he hasn't so done I mean, nothing. I mean, and that even now, he was rocking when your man Baker was not rocking. He was going hard when Baker was throwing the ball out of bounds and nobody was there. You know, the first year when Baker was there. You know, so he held Baker down. He got hurt. Um, which happens in the, in the NFL. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I, I Doug, listen, if you ask yourself right now and put a poll out here to every other team in the league and say, yo, would you take OBJ today? Nobody is saying no. 
Nobody. I they got three him. receivers with the Niners, and I'll take them. <laughs> I still take them. The dog, he, he, his numbers. He's a talent. He come, I'm not. No, I mean not, he's not even the talent, dog. His numbers first four years Hall of Fame. I'm not going to knock you on it. I'm not going. You know he got yeah. H O F numbers like for receptions and yards. Now touchdowns is hard with the Giants back then, but I mean the dude can play. Um. And they'll be able to keep him maybe one more year if they don't win a Super Bowl this year because they're not paying. They're not bringing him back. Uh, yeah. but they're not. They're not uh, paying Baker. Not, no. You know. So no, what I'm saying is that they could mm -hmm. because they're not paying Baker, and they might, in my opinion, because they still don't have that a wide receiver. He's not on the team. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the biggest thing. They they don't have him on the team yet. They don't have, they don't have a number one yet. Well, shout, shout out to the Browns. Browns defeat, defeat the Steelers. They move on to the divisional round. Let's go to the next big game. The Baltimore Ravens defeat the Tennessee Titans 20 to 13. Games was, cool. was close, but not close in my opinion. A um, lot of things and moving pieces. Lamar Jackson, now they're saying Lamar Jackson, the man, he finally got the big thing off his plate or whatever. And uh, I'm like, give him a chance, yeah. I mean, um, black dude, black dude would be there but the um, years. the Ravens defense came to play, they 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 squashed Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry had 18 um carries for 40 yards. Well, they had dudes, dudes were hurt the first time. I think mm -hmm. Calais Campbell and the other cat, um, the other big dude, I forget his name, I'm sorry, um, this might have been the first time all season that they played together. Because one would be hurt, the other one would be hurt. So, right. they 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 got it in. Right, right. We'll start off with with, um, with Eric. Eric, what's your thoughts on your your former home city? They taking so the, the L. Six, the six one five. That was the only part that I got right. Was uh, they was going to be uh, Derek Henry wasn't going to be able to run the ball. Um, Why did you think that? Uh, just because um, I, I feel like in today's NFL, you need two backs. You need a change of pace. You know what I'm saying? Um, there was That's a lot of, he could, he, he could not run in between the tackles for Jack. There was no holes nowhere. And sometimes you just need that change of pace guy to get to the outside. And there, there was just, they, they didn't have that. Um, Tannehill didn't do what I thought Tannehill was going to do. Um, seemed like the receivers couldn't get, I mean, outside of AJ Brown, the receivers couldn't get no separation whatsoever. And, um, you know, Baltimore, yo, shout out to <laughs> shout out to the Baltimore Ravens, man. I mean, the defense came to play and Lamar Jackson would not be denied. And again, when I made the pick, it wasn't, you know, it was no hard feelings. I like L I like LJ. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, it's, it's, it's a bunch of teams that, that I'm, 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 I I'm want to see win. So it's kind of crazy. I haven't had this feeling in a long time between Baltimore, Buffalo and Cleveland. Um, I, I just like Cleveland's run game. But anyway, um, but yeah, shout out to Baltimore, man. Um, Tannehill just couldn't get into no rhythm after that first quarter. He No it. rhythm whatsoever, man. The pressure and the lack of separation on their receivers. He couldn't couldn't do nothing. I They'll agree. take OBJ. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that's 100. That, that's, yeah. 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 OBJ, yeah. To Tennessee. He, he won't go there, though. No. Yeah, come to well, San Francisco. We'll take him. Nah, 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 nah. We'll take him. D-Dub, what's your thought on the Ravens and um, Titans game? Hey, hey uh, shout out to uh, Mikey, who's in, in his absence, using one of his PTO days. And uh, I was joking with Mikey before the game. I was like, "Yo, the Ravens and the and the and the Titans feel like they should be playing in the same division, man, because they always got beef. It looks like, and it's a really good rivalry, man. Really good rivalry between the but the, the North that goes, Pole. That, that it's goes dated back. back. To, that goes yeah. back to the uh, Ray Lewis days and um, Ray Lewis and McNair and, and days, Eddie man. George days, man. Those and were some those, great battles. Those were back some in the good day. battles in the AFC <laughs> yeah, that, that, uh, that, divisional game. Calling them battles, yeah. And the Ravens used to beat their ass, man. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. I mean, Ray but, took the ball out of Eddie George hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah but McNair would find a way. It. McNair would find a way to make it. I mean, McNair only had Derek Mason and yeah. Frank Watch, uh, and it was still he was still try to. I mean, honestly, I, I, I'm, I'm getting off the topic. I just want to say, honestly, Deshaun Watson is kind of mm -hmm. like 
how um, McNair was. Yeah, he, he didn't. He was, I mean, he was, especially now that he ain't got no receiver. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, he ain't got no running though. back neither. But that's, yeah. But yeah. D-Dub, anyway. go ahead, go ahead. That, go that's ahead, yo, man. I thought it was a it was an entertaining game. One, I think it's probably. A, I think there's probably about the best game this weekend. I think, let me try and think about it. Uh, yeah, I think to me, that was a Buffalo, between Buffalo and Indy and the uh, and, and, uh, Ravens and um, Titans. Those were two good games that I watched thoroughly. Uh, yo, man, ba- shout out to Baltimore. Baltimore defense, they came out to play. And just like what, what he said, uh, there was no holes for Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry had nowhere to really go. And it's the, that's the game, the importance of a, a change of back guy that could go north and south and, you know, and or east and west, I should say. And um, when you got a north and south running back. So um, the, um, Derrick Henry had nothing. I mean, he had a heck of a year. Still, kudos to him. He's still one of the best backs in the game. So... There's nothing to take away with away from the Titans. They'll be back next year. They just have to figure out, you know, what they need to do better than, you know, because other than that, it was pretty much uh, 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 if uh, Jackson doesn't make that run and he had a hell of a run. He had two, great, he had two good runs. He had really two great runs. You're right. You're during right. During the yeah, game. Absolutely. And if he didn't make it, he, I mean, he just outran everybody. I mean, there was the lane there, and he took it. He took what was given, and, and that's Dang how they won the game. That boy fast. He's fast. He is super fast. And uh, until somebody could, you know, you know, they, they put a, a hat on him or have a spy for him to wait for him because it's either, you know, he's going to look. And if he ain't got nothing, he's going to take off. You know he's going to take off. So somebody's got to stay around to – Make sure, but you know, easier said than done. If you ain't got the personnel to deal with that, easier but good game. That. Shout out to Baltimore. They move on to face the Buffalo Bills. So, and that should be a good one. He dub. I mean, excuse me, Da. What do you think of the game? Great game. Yeah, I couldn't say any, anything more than what these two brothers said. Good game. You're gonna have to really uh, watch them all because he's the wild card. D. Yeah, you, got, any, you, gotta put, you gotta put a spy on him or something. Got to. Is he too fast for a spot? That's the problem. That's the. Uh, that's, it's, it's goes hard, back to man. what you say. If you ain't got the personnel to deal with this guy, yeah, like hard. you got to have like linebackers, somebody back there that's fast enough that could, you know, still play, look around, scan the field, and watch Lamar. I mean, yeah, it's hard, man. Because it's hard because it's you know like you, Allen you, runs too, but yeah. Allen's not Lamar. He's not Lamar. He's not as fast. Yeah, though. you can but, catch Allen because he's you know he's a big guy. Right. You know, you can but he can back. run though. He, he he's, he's, he's pretty good. good. He's yeah, fast. He's, yeah, but, but he's not. He's not Lamar's that. Just, yeah. <laughs> what we said. This is not that. Yeah. Right. This is definitely yeah. not that. So. Yeah, it's not that. Let me segue to the we was we was talking about um, Josh Allen. Um, the Buffalo Bills defeat the Indianapolis Colts um, on Saturday, and. Um, what was the score here? I'm sorry. My screen here is going 27-24. That I, 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 the Bills played a really good game. I really think the coach, um, coach, um, Frank Wright, he's been gambling all year long, and it came back to bite. It, got to bite him. it came back to bite him, man. He was he, so, it, it, after so. a while, he was chasing points, man. Yeah. And yeah. if they didn't chase some points, the game would have been tied. It could have went to overtime, and one could never thought. This was Buffalo's first uh, playoff win since 1995. You know, that's been like a whole generation. You know, you young um, generation of, of kids or uh, folks watching, you know, listen to us. Yo, the Bills used to be great back in the Bay, back in the uh, late 80s and early 90s, man, where, shit, you know, they went shit. to four straight Super Bowls in a row. Four. Man, they lost man. them all, but they went to four. <laughs> Met the Cowboys oh, twice and went the Giants. And I forget who was the last the one. Rich. Washington. The Redskins. Redskins is yeah. hard. Redskins. They lost to the NFC East. NFC East. Mm-hmm. Nope. That Redskins thing was bad. Mm, yeah, that one. Yeah, it was a bad yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah. Mark Ribbon went all in. I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was, that was back when I was a diehard Washington fan, man. You couldn't tell me nothing. Mm-hmm. Mark Ribbon played his game off, man. But um, yeah, what you think of the Bills and Colts game real quick? 
was a good game, man. It's about what I where I thought it would be. Um, the Colts are a good team. The the and I'll say this, and everybody can be mad as you want. The old man got to go, man. Like he's actually stifling the team, and not just by his game, but also by his salary. Right. Uh, so old, if, if what you know talking me, about some may not be know who you're talking about. Old man River. Oh man, man River. And I love Philip Rivers, man. Since he was in NC State, he's a bad boy. What I'm saying is. And that's not Jacoby per se. It didn't matter. With his salary that you're paying him this year, you could have another receiver on the other side of TY. You could have had another running back besides the old boy from Wisconsin. And your defense could have been better. Your old line is straight. And this is what I'm saying. You I, I'm I'm not sure that owners are really owning in the best interest of their team because I, I couldn't see them making that move when they did it. Mm-hmm. And yes, he's good, but I wouldn't have paid him like that. Philip Rivers is 45 years old. Fuck you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. 45. I'm with you. Stop, I'm with man. you. Stop, stop. I, I, and I can bring a young dude in here to do this same shit for $5 a day in the pack of Newports? Yeah. Come on, stop. So, yeah. so, so, Kev, I'm going to step in. So, what it, what DA is basically saying is, Philip Rivers, you nice, but you, you, you late, and you got to yeah. get the fuck up out of here. It's yeah. time for you to go. Yes, it's time for you to go. Eric, what do you think of the game, real quick? Um, it was just like, like, like what the other brother said. It was just about what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be close. Um, uh. Indianapolis defense was right. It, it was a great game, man. And again, you, when you game. leave points, when you leave points on the field like that, it's going to come back and bite you. This is not. This is not week ten. This is not week you. four. This is the playoffs. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You either you got to go hard or you are going to go home. And they they fishing right now. So um, they they fishing. Sh- but I think they'll they'll be back. They'll be back. Okay. They just got to change. They just got to change, change up this the um, personnel. And they'll, they'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Big up, big up to my little man. That's um, uh, kicking field goals to him. Uh, Indianapolis. He uh, played in I think two All Star games with my son, and, and I think they bunked one year. All right. And his okay. father was the smartest dude I ever met. Man, he said, oh, "So what you do here?" So yeah, my son kicks. He's from Jersey. I said what? So yeah, I said that's it. That's it. He don't like play no other position during the game like someone else. You know, I'm thinking about when I was in high school. He's like, nah, my son just kicked. Nah, he just kicked, yo. <laughs> like, we wow, ain't doing that. We ain't doing none of this CTE stuff. We, my son it. kicks. Yeah, no. My son <laughs> kicks. <laughs> well, was, I, word life, man. I was like, <laughs> and I started yeah. thinking, like, damn, maybe I should get my son to fucking. They three hundred pound kicking motherfucker like yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, the, the kick is the smartest dude in the, on the on the, the field. Field. He, he know what yeah. time it is. He got smoke. Yo, yo three hundred. I, I, I make three hundred seventy five thousand dollars a year, and I can live oh, good off of that. I ain't got to be dude, that guy or Hall of Famer. Kick dude, the ball. He he didn't miss a field goal. Hey. in high school. He's he smart brother. In Georgia for four years. And then they, they made him a rock star out there because he wore them big ass goggles. Mm. Like, you know, and, and then Indianapolis picked him up. I'm like, look at this dude. And Ron was like, yeah, you see what his father said, right? I said, yeah, I should have had your big ass kicking to him. <laughs> Hunting, doing something. <laughs> but he went straight all the way. Didn't never good do anything him, else. Man. Good for him, so, man. Yeah, man, that's a good look, B. And I'm, to, all you, to all you kids out there listening, go ahead and be a kicker, man, because right. there's plenty of jobs open. Trust me. Plenty, plenty of jobs. Looked at this season, this past, I say three, four seasons. Man, there's at least, I know Arizona need one. <laughs> <laughs> I do know that. Go ahead, be but, the kicker. Go ahead, be the engineer. Yo, you ain't go gotta ahead, be, you ain't gotta go, be in the foreground. You could be in the background. Go ahead, be the public address announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, they all get paid. Not they all yeah. get paid. Second. Be the referee. Two, number two. Two. Number two. two. Derek Jeta. Number two, yeah, be yeah. that guy. Yeah, be uh, yeah. Get paid. But um, they had to get paid, man. Let me move right along. This other game, we're not even going to mention. I'm just going to mention for every everybody. I don't know how. Don't to mention Chicago. 
Don't do oh, that. Please. Uh, yeah, I, man. I, I don't even know how they even got to the playoff. They won. I mean, excuse me. They got oh, beat what? By 21 to 9. I don't yeah. even know how they got it. They got the tiebreaker over Arizona. Yeah, we we'll, move right, we'll, we'll move right right along to Eric's former club, the Washington football team, um, getting beat um by the Buccaneers um 31 to 23. Um a little worried. They a little tried. Worried that. Hey, they tried. Hey, hey, the the, the what's his name? Heine, Heineke? He Heineke. Heineke. Yeah, he played he played pretty good. And um, yo, kudos to the Washington Football Club. And where is where is where is D Dub? D Dub, I think you owe uh DA an apology, man, about the Yeah, Washington. I I, played, I wanted to go out there on a limb. That's what I did. I, yeah, I mean. You know what I'm saying? It, it probably was something in my cup. That's what it was. There's yes. something in the cup. Yeah, and right. Might have let me uh go too far and I jumped off. The, over, I jumped the off. Yes, gotcha. I yes. I jumped off. And uh yeah, uh Washington wasn't gonna do nothing. Yeah, it wasn't going. But but they they they, they respect they would they 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 made them respect them a little bit. So you know they, yo, they, Washington I gotta guess, figure out this quarterback situation. And that's why I think it's gonna be a problem, D for Tampa. Is they a the team with no stars at all? Right, score twenty three points on them, man, and hang with them. Yes. Yeah, he, the, well, the tight end dude used to be the quarterback at Virginia Tech. Right. He actually played for Arizona as a quarterback two years ago mm -hmm. um, until Arizona cut him. Logan Thomas, yeah, for Rosen, yeah. So, um, big boy, um, good quarterback, but he can catch that thing, man. I like him. I, I mean. Mm -hmm. He's solid, man, and um, I, hey. I, I don't think Tampa's defense is any good, and I think New Orleans may shred their asses this weekend. So, and hey, wait, hold on. I mean, you said that, and I was thinking that same thing. I was like, I'm probably gonna pick New Orleans, but then again, I'm like, New Orleans beat them twice this year, I think, and that third time, this is yeah, what I'm scared. Of. You know we, how it we, goes. We said it. It's Three hard. Times. It's hard. It's hard. A football team three times in a row. And, it, and this so far, yeah, and this guy is Tom Brady, so. They got AB there. It could be different. It could be different this this uh, this time around. So I'm not. This we, is like when we a, get to the picks. I'm gonna shock y'all because I don't, man. Listen, we'll, we'll, it, we'll get to those real soon. So. But uh, as far as the game, I mean, you know, Tampa did what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to smash anybody from the NFC, whoever came out the NFC. Uh, if, if if it was the Giants, uh, it's yeah. supposed to take take care of business. So and they they did yeah. what they had to do. So they move on to New Orleans. Okay. And I will well, I will say I will say this too. Um, yes, they gave up a lot of points, but what was the scouting report on this quarterback? If the dude ain't never played, you don't know much about him. And I think that took him by surprise as well. Yeah, yeah. that's a good. I point. mean, when you have a guy, good point. Good point. he threw. 44 times, 26 or 44 for 306, a touchdown and a pick. That is kind of good. I mean, Tampa was a, what, top 10 defense this year? Mm -hmm. Yep. And yes, he, I, I didn't see that. He threw, he, I mean, he he hung with him. He hung in there. I mean, Definitely. I got to applaud him. If for anything else, I have to applaud the Washington football team for effort. That's all I ever want to see in any game is That's give your effort, regardless of if you're down – if, if people got you down by three or 30, just come to play. You never know. So, but um, old man Tom keeps rolling on. We're going to see what he does uh, this weekend. But um, this is going to be a, I think this should be the best game of the, of the, of the, of the weekend. Yeah. Old man going to be there for both their asses. Yeah. So, because this is, this is, uh, I mean, because if Breeze, if Breeze don't do it, this is it for him. So he, he's, he's out. Going to quit. Yeah, yeah he's he yeah. he's out after this, and I just feel bad for him because he got robbed. He did. The team did get robbed. Uh, uh, what was it two years in a row? Two years. Yeah, three yeah. years in a row. Yeah, you're right. Three years in a row. You know what I'm saying? So you know, if he doesn't do it now, I I I suspect they should win. But then I'm like, I don't know if they're gonna win. They at home. He got one right. He got, yeah, he got one. He got one. He got one. So I mean, bounty gate on uh, Brett Favre. I'll never forget that season, yo, man. Yeah. Yo, that, that was that, one of the best games I ever seen in life, man. Yo, Minnesota was, and 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 New Orleans. That was a hard hitting oh, game, and then yeah. and then after the fact, after you figure out why it was so hard. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh my god. We'll, we'll say that for another show. That's another yeah. show, though. But go yeah, ahead. Yeah. 
Let's let's so let's let's get to real quick, and then we'll go to our picks, and then we'll go to college football real quickly. The Rams and Seahawks. Uh, Rams beat the Seahawks on um, thirty to twenty. Um, game really wasn't as close as as it looked like. Uh, the Rams defense came to play. The Rams backup quarterback got hurt. Couldn't, can't think of dude's name at the time. Wolford. 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 Wolford got hurt, and then um, Jared Goff came in and with a broken thumb. With a th- broken like- thumb, and you know he wasn't good. Managed the I game. think he was he was he was um serviceable. They ran the ball and they won. Earn that money, motherfucker. Goddamn. And, and, and their defense is uh, <laughs> DA, go ahead, man. Cause this your nah. this, this your man's that lost now. He, he got on the money. Hey, he yo, listen, man. You know, he, he, my, he, man he, he, my man my man took the money. My man Bill said, listen, man, he gonna go back to the crib with Sierra, you know. Throw something brown in the cup with two ice cubes. Think about the season and go to bed. And just try to work out what they're going to do next year because their defense is horrible. Well, so. he said he's happy that they, they get to choose another OC. I just read that on our way in. Oh, really? Yeah. What happened with the OC? He got fired? They oh, yeah. yeah. They just, okay. Oh, yeah. Schottenheimer. Schottenheimer. Yeah, he's gone. So, yeah, but, but um, yeah, I watched that game. Um, um, the Seahawks was never in the game, and the Rams defense really, really played. And um, even um, Donald, who got hurt uh, towards the end of the second half, I believe, or the yeah. third quarter, he got hurt, and the Rams third defense quarter. still kept humming. Still kept dudes, humming. They got dudes on that. They got dudes on that team, man. Believe me, they got Brockers, they got Lloyd, they got dudes, and they got Ramsey. So he is the Dion right now. He's the dude you put on the other dude. And you don't worry about him. He just locks him down. In the story, lock down. Won't yeah. see him anymore. Because anytime, that if, if you was to ask me before the game that Russell Wilson would be 11 of 27 for 174. Mm-hmm. No way to throw it. That, that's, not, that's not MVP. Like, that's not the Russell Wilson that we've uh, come to expect. But that's just how great that Rams defense was. And shout out to... Mr. Akers, Cam Akers Cam ran Akers. all over that defense. Man, Cam Akers was a yo. He was a monster. That yo, I mean, I've never seen this is this is this is how I know that defense is trash. I have never seen that many broken or missed tackles by a Seattle defense in a very long time. Yeah, very long time. I mean, you know, man, you know, you know, like we say, Father Time is undefeated, baby. True. All the times on the field, Eric. I'm I'm got looking at the um alert on my phone, and yeah, the Islanders are beating the Rangers five. Oh, you hours. just see you just see what I saw. Yeah, that's why I made that face five nothing. Yeah, it was Jeez. four. It was, I, was just, I was watching it's it. Was, the Islanders is up four. I, I mean, four nothing. The Islanders won the conference finals last yes. year, so so yeah. they're not bad. They're, yeah. They're, yeah. They're, they're not it's, bad, man. They're yeah, not Islanders, it's not the Islanders of, of what we used to know. Not, yeah. the, not the fish yeah. sticks guys not, with the gold. Not, not of the 2000s, yeah. no. Right. Nah, 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 they got, man. They, they got their first three lines are very serious, baby. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Islanders are getting new digs out in Elmont, um, Long Island, right outside Ooh. the um, the um, the racetrack, the horse racetrack out there. So, yeah, the Islanders. Oh, yeah. Cold. Whenever COVID's over, um, they should be playing in the new arena right there out there in Elmont. I, my personal opinion, the New Yorker, they should have, could have tried to work it out and um, out there in Hempstead, but um, they couldn't. And, you know, but the Islanders are going back to where they belong. They they really felt out of whack um, playing in Brooklyn. And um, that arena, they even said the arena really wasn't built for hockey. Um, right. It's only 13,000 for hockey. So, but that's it, man. Well, well let, let me... College football for for two minutes. I, uh, and two, I minutes. Know we, two minutes. Two minutes because I know we talked on it. Um, I don't know if guys want to say. I'm, I'm going to congratulate the uh, Alabama and Nick Saban for winning their 17th round. <laughs> um, Congratulations. That's all I got. <laughs> National yeah, yeah. Title thing. <laughs> um, so I want to say is Nick Saban the greatest. Um, hey, shout out to the, the wide receiver. I can't think of his name. Devontae that, Smith. Smith. Devontae yeah. Smith was on fire, man. And he caught everything and anything and still got hurt. Wait, wait. Oh. He won the game by itself. Yeah. You know, he didn't have to play a second half. Let's let's be clear, okay? There was one play, one touchdown that he caught, right? Because he caught so many. I can't, I don't know which, if it was the second one, the third one, whatever. 
The dude just ran straight. Why on earth was there a linebacker on him? Why is the safety, this is the best receiver on the planet in college football, and you, you turn to double and look at the other receiver? I can tell you how it happened. They ran him in motion. He came off close to the line, so the linebacker had to pick him up because the safety's uh -huh. further back. And instead of picking him up and staying with him, and the linebacker going over the top, the linebacker got, you know, Mac Jones threw his head this way a little bit. Uh, safety went that way. Ball went the other way. Touchdown. That's a bad boy. I'll take him next year, too. You know, I'll take him next year, too. Hey, I take all y'all words for it. And I wasn't, I, I looked at it for a couple of minutes, and after I, I just turned it off. I know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm disappointed with this whole this this whole college football scam that they got going on, and I, I just I just I'm just not with it. I, I agree with you, D. I, I, I it, it, it got to get better than this. It's got to get better than a 52. Nope. Because not only that, 52 whatever, and it's the same teams. It's not going to happen, oh. fellas. It's not. Well, then you know, and well, to the somebody people at the top. Well, we're wishing upon a star, huh? Yeah, yeah. If, until the people on the top, at the top either don't want as much money or they figure out a way to get more money, this is a system they're going to mess with. Oh, okay. um, as far as the sport's concerned, I tell you, I, I, I big up Alabama because I like Alabama. I'm not saying I'm a, a fan, but I started liking Alabama because they were like the Niners. You know, just excellence. Like, the way they did shit was better than the way everybody else does shit. From recruiting you know, so to the stadium. From recruiting to the stadium. And look at those things about the uh, 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 LSU spent $10 million on their locker room last year, though. Mm. You're going to tell me you ain't got no money for these fucking kids? So that's why I'm like, yo, I like Alabama. I would have Nick Saban come out and say, yo, look, man, yeah, I'm paying these motherfuckers money. You see how nice we are? <laughs> we win all the time. Of course, I'm oh, paying them, you stupid motherfuckers. We don't pay kids. Uh, I didn't say that. Y'all said that. Alabama, we paying these motherfuckers. They get two checks a week fucking with me. Say ban, nigga. That's you know what you want them bands? Say ban, nigga. <laughs> say niggas want them bands, right? Say ban, nigga. Huh? What we do here in Alabama. Fuck y'all. Hey, yo, listen, I I'm with them. Because Mike, Ohio State fan, we don't have no more. <laughs> look, oh, so Ohio State is paying them because they're the best team in that conference. No one else in the Big Ten pay their kids as good as uh, uh, Ohio State does, and that's why they win over there every year. You know, Penn State don't pay them right, giving them dudes that 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 SYEP money. No, Michigan definitely now, ain't. Michigan, you know <laughs> that fool. He ain't he trying to talk to these niggas. Talk about who got it better than us. Said them niggas in Alabama. What the fuck you mean who got it better than us? Them. They got it better than us. You know? Yeah, no, listen, we just need to stop with the BS. Pay the kids their wages, right? And then you'll have kids go to schools that they really want to go to because they're getting paid. Because the reality is, if you look at the combine and all the rest of that bullshit. Every school in the, a big D1 school, Power 5 conference, you're going to get looked at as a, as a college player. And if you're good enough, you'll get a shot in the NFL. The dudes that's not getting a look are the dudes underneath them. So, you know, so that's my that's my little rant on the shit, man. But, hey, he ain't lying to you, man. Saban said, listen, man, I don't fuck you all I'm going to get these kids because I got – what your man say, you know – uh, 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 training day. Hey, listen, man. I'm getting this car. You, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get that bag. You give my money, right? You'll give me that money. You, Jake, <laughs> give me the, give me the bag. <laughs> Jake, give me the, give me the, give me the bag. Boom! Oh, you shot me in my oh, ass. Oh man! Did you shoot me? <laughs> give me the bag. Yo, dog. It's, it's like pain. Uh, hey, any any words on congratulations before we go to uh, go? I'm gonna go to baseball really quick. Congratulations to who? Congratulations. Urban Meyer? Or the well, yeah, to well, all the kids, oh, yeah. the ones yeah. that didn't get sick and die. 
Yeah, Urban well, Meyer is well, he, Urban Meyer's gonna be okay. He you know he, he gets a job. I mean, what's my man? Uh, uh, what's oh, my God. man? D D A D A. What's my man in Washington? Oh, who don't no, get a job. He, I'm not gonna go there, but Tom, what? Which what? <laughs> huh? No, D A is on fire already. Nope. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, no, no, D A. You know what I'm talking about? The, the the black coach from Washington that got fired. Tom Willing, Willingham, Willingham. Tyrone Willingham. Tyrone Willingham. Tyrone Willingham. Yes. That motherfucker well, still. Well, that nigga ain't get a job in the high school yet. He ain't coaching not a motherfucker boy. Well, Urban Meyer. He went from Notre Dame. Urban Meyer could get a job. I, you know, I ain't got nothing to say. You know, yeah, he, he, went, he went to Notre Dame to to assistant coach of the JV Advanced motherfucking high school right here in Charlotte. That's where the boy at. But God damn. Well, Urban, boy, lose a job, get a job. Everybody, yeah, board. everybody can tear down the whole fucking institution and they'll give him a job, another job somewhere else. Every time he leaves. Yeah, yeah man. It is, it is. The program, Every time you know? he Hey, y'all people out there who listening, y'all can play like y'all don't, uh, y'all can still play this game, but I we know what time it is. Period. Yeah, that's it. That's We're not here for your bullshit. We don't hey, little hot stove baseball, the God. New York Mets, um, <laughs> Shout out to the Mets. Go ahead. They Mets got new ownership. <laughs> the Mets are, Mets are trying to do some things here. Oh uh, shit, boy. God, Yo, they got uh, the Francisco league. Lindor from the uh, from the from the Cleveland. Um, well, are they still yeah. the Indians? But no, no, you better not say that. I can curse. You better not call nobody no goddamn oh, Indian. We can say oh, nigga I mean, all day, uh, but we can't say. Yeah, we Cleveland can't say Indian. Indian oh, oh, yeah, again, <laughs> okay, yeah. This, you know, this. Hey, is that's only what Dave Chappelle said. Only Dave said that. Yes, they only in America. Them. This, yo, Kev, we're gonna shake up the room. I, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm tired of this. This is ridiculous. Yes, the so, Cleveland Indians. Yes, Brent, what, Lindor, yo, Lindor is that dude, man. He's a, he's a great talent. I think did we talk about this last week? If not, but oh, no, no. the dude they can made play. The this they made the trade this week. Mets Shout out to the Mets new owner. The the Mets yeah. new owner. He's he's coming. He's spending cash. He don't he care. Is. Well, Kev, you know what? We've seen this before too. This might be, uh, you know, yeah, we spend the cash, and then next thing you know, that they'll break it. They'll break it all up right before cash our eyes. Is, cash is going into a Ponzi scheme. Look at the yeah, Ponzi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, I, yeah. That's my we'll money see. at. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I understand. He's the new guy. This is the new toys. You know what I'm saying? This is these owners, man. They billionaires. That this is all it is. What, what did Hope say? What did Hope say? He made off. Yeah, he, <laughs> he made, made off. off baby. He made off. Yeah. <laughs> Standing on the side of the Van Wick with a made of off, and water. <laughs> yeah. Yo, man. Yo, it is. Goofies and water. Baby. No. Shout yes. out to Ho, man. Shout out to Jay Z. That was a classic line, yo, kid. Okay? Yo, with the Ponzi scheme, he made off. Yeah, you damn right, baby. Yo, but but yo, the good thing that the Mets did was that Lindor is American League pitcher, so he gets at least what well, he gets to go through once before the National League dudes even can will pick up what he's doing. So yeah, you can watch him, but until you actually face him, he's gonna come over at least the first half of the season. He's going to be on fire. Yeah, yeah because yeah, he'll, no he'll, one sees he'll, him. You see what Mookie did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he should be smoking Mookie is the best player in the league, man. Yeah, Mookie is that dude. So, you know. Best player in the league. That's I'm sorry, be. Mr. Trout. I love you, but Mookie's better than you. Trout ain't okay. been the best player in about three, four years now, but I digress. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, well, he hasn't. He's just getting that check and that check. Getting that money. Heavy, man. heavy check, heavy check. Can't do all that jumping on the wall and catch shit with that damn money in your back pocket. Oh, that's, and, that's true. And now, now the Mets are looking at as I look at my my ticket here. The yeah, Mets are now me, bag. <laughs> they're looking at um George Springer. So wow, yeah. So, oh, the Mets, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, man, George, where, really? George Springer for real? Yeah. What's that for right field, left field? Where, where you play? Uh, maybe well, I'm not excited about that move. If this was Springer, maybe two three years ago, I'd be excited. But I mean, he's going to bring a presence. Right? Yeah, but he's 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 injury he's prone. He's old. They're, they're gonna platoon yeah. him. Yeah. He's not gonna play all time. No, I don't. He's see gonna that. platoon him because he uh, can break his ankle getting out the damn dugout. I didn't see him do that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The dude is injury prone like hell. Really? Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's solid when he's playing, but Still but yeah. Shout runs. out to Mets, man. At least they trying to make moves. And they ain't trying to be stagnant and all this other stuff, man. You gotta shake. You gotta shake the room up when 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 it's 
when the room when the room has just been bare with white walls for the past couple of years. You got to do something. Man. You got to splash. You got to add that new that new uh, accent on the on the walls. Yeah, accent wall. Well, just don't made off though. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Well, you Springer, yeah, you're right because Springer had what 189 bats, 37 runs, 50 hits, 32 RB, RBIs, 24. Well, Houston got a, a, a bunch of young guys that's taking over too, so that's another yeah. reason why he ain't get that playing time. Yeah, he was uh, Houston, Houston, he batted, he batted 265, so I mean, in my yeah. team, San Diego, watch the Padres, though. watch them Padres, the Padres and the White Sox, baby, watch them. You know, watch some Padres, be. Let's let's move along to our last thing we'll have to say here with the um picks, the National Football League picks for the uh -oh, division to play. Shit. We'll start off with the first game, Rams and Packers. I'm gonna start them off. Um yeah, the Packers have been uh, 13 and 3. Um the Rams got a really good defense. Um golf is still hurt. Um I think the I think the Packers are gonna win. I think um Aaron Rodgers is gonna do his thing and his magic. And they'll come out and they'll be and they'll they'll win. I say they'll win twenty four fourteen. D Dub. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Packers. I was gonna say the Rams is gonna be the upset team. I don't. They're probably not gonna do it. They, I'm taking the Packers. Aaron Rodgers should. Uh, Show everybody why why he is what he is. This is he's not gonna lose this game. So I'm I'm taking the pack. Uh 28-14. All right. Um DA, who you got? You don't know I, I lose every game I ever pick. Um I, I wanna go with the Packers, man. But so for CeeLo. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I'll take I'll take in the upset the Rams. No, that shit ain't gonna happen. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't have a score. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, man. Okay. Just, uh, well, I, I'll go ahead. Uh, hey, it's, it's all go good. I, I've been wrong before. I'm going with the LA Rams. That defense is hot. Um, I am going to say 24 20. Fuck I'm fucking with E. I'm with E. I'm with E. Um, and, and, and after the game, after the game, they'll be back that, that that Monday morning quarterback. They'll be saying how old oh, Aaron Rodgers. He needs somebody else other than uh, Devontae Adams. He needs boy he, he, he needs he boy. I, I'm done. He I'm will, done with this help, man. I'm done. I think I'm Ramsey Ramsey's going to take Adams out of the game by himself. J They've Jello, done it all yo, year. Ramsey you, Ramsey is a bad boy. Let me tell you, bad dude, kid. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a bad dude. Bad Ramsey, dude. Right. Ramsey's a bad dude. So he that might yo yo e your pick might be very well. I I'm just looking. And I was looking for, I'm looking at the games. I'm like, man, who somebody's gonna upset this this weekend. So it's not that I, I'm I, well, I just didn't want to take those. It's gonna be one more. It's gonna be one big one that I'm going yeah. with. And y'all gonna be looking at me like E stop, oh. man. What you got in that drink? Yeah. But I'll wait till we get to All it. All right, let's go. Okay. Bills and Ravens. That game is in uh, Orchard Park, New York. Um, that will be the eight o'clock standalone game. Uh Ravens and Bills. I'm 8 p.m. Hmm. I'm, I'm, God, I'm going with the Ravens. I'm going with the Ravens. Uh, Lamar Jackson, he's he's going to be too much. Josh Allen is too much, but I think the Ravens are going to pull it out. I, I say this game is going to be low scoring too. It's going to be cold. It's, it's uh, 27, 27 degrees at kickoff. Uh, Ravens 24, Bills 21. Ravens winning with a uh, field goal at the end. Hits the upright. Eric, James Eric, go ahead. This is the one that I didn't want to pick. Um, yeah, just a tough one. I, I agree with Kev. It's going to be low scoring. It's going to be cold. Um, it's not going to be a whole lot of passes from Lamar Jackson. I, I, I will doubt that he throws more than 24, 25 times. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going cats. Buffalo. I'm going Buffalo. I'm Check going uh cats. Mikey. Yo, I love you, Mikey. But I, I'm going <laughs> <laughs> he might you mean mugging me somewhere because I know you're listening. Yo, uh I got Buffalo 17-14. 17-14. Okay. Um, DA. 
Buffalo. Okay. <laughs> Be dope. Buffalo. I'm going Buffalo. 17-10. 17-10. Buffalo. We want rocking with the Ravens. Okay. All right, we shall see. We shall see. Moving right along. Except for Michael, he he's probably he's rocking with the Ravens. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah. Well, we're, we're gonna say Michael is also rocking with the Ravens. Yes. Browns and Chiefs. I think this is story ends for the Browns. Good night, night. Uh, go, ahead, e, go ahead and say it. Go ahead and say it. E. Go <laughs> ahead and say it. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I, I think the Chiefs, uh, Chiefs and the Browns. Uh, this also will be low scoring. It's gonna be cold out there in Kansas City. I I see the Chiefs winning 20 16, 20 to 16. E, go ahead since you're making that face. Um yeah, this is not the game. I, I I'm sorry. This is not the game. This is not the game? Oh, oh okay. no. No, this is I think this will be the game where I what I said earlier in the show about having that one guy to go to, I think um this Chiefs defense is going to be the story of the game. I think that combined they will have at least 150 yards rushing. However, it's going to okay. be a wrap. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be a wrap, man. So I got Kansas City. Oh, boy. Kansas City. Man, pull the trigger. Shit. Pull it. Bang. Bang, bang. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. <laughs> uh, Kansas City, 28, Cleveland. Boy, Kevin Warren ain't shit, boy. I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be. I don't want to be one of his goddamn trainees out there, boy. <laughs> <blowing up>, boy. <laughs> but <laughs> yo, I'm really not like that, man. Stop. <laughs> yo, shout out to all of my trainees. <laughs> oh, the goddamn trigger. <laughs> Y'all are stupid. Oh yeah. shit, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, Go ahead, yeah, man. Who you got, man? He, I would he, take. I would take Cleveland. Real talk, but I don't think they have anyone on their team to cover Kelsey. Nah. So I'll go with Kansas City. D Dub. Yo, Kansas City gonna kill these dudes. Thirty-eight, fourteen, Chiefs. Damn, damn, that shit. They ain't even close, my G. That nigga hard. God damn. <laughs> Yo, I, and I would think about pull, going for the Browns. I, I don't see it. I don't care how how long layoff the uh, Chiefs been unless on. Unless that run game go crazy. Yeah, I unless it, unless it's snowing in, in in Kansas City, five five inches of snow, uh, and then you know, then I would, I can see it, but I, I don't think it's going. It's calling for snow. Yeah, Buccaneers and Chiefs. Buccaneers and Saints. Our last game that we'll pick. Um. Um, we said it right. It's hard to beat a team three times, right? And New Orleans has had their number. They smashed them, though. Like it wasn't even a close. There wasn't even no close games. Like they beat the shit out of Tampa Bay both times, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. especially that first one was. Yeah, boy. yeah. Uh, I ain't gonna uh, say that word up here. I don't want to. I don't want to offend anybody. But um. I'm 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 gonna rock with um the Bucks, man. I, th- I think the Bucks are gonna win. It's gonna be a high scoring game. I, I I think it's gonna be like 35, 35, 32, and the Bucks win with a last minute field goal. Well, he is gonna have Drew Brees commit suicide, huh? <laughs> yeah. Is here's the shocker. Here's the shocker. I know I know we talked about you know you can't beat a team three times in a row. I'm gonna Why go ahead not? and say it. New Orleans is gonna put the uh, the triple on uh, entendre on the Buccaneers. It's gonna be forty two to twenty. It's not even gonna be close. Alvin Kamara is gonna have three touchdowns. They ain't gonna have no answer for that dude, man. Whoa! And I'm I'm basing this off of what I seen mm-hmm. last week. I shouldn't be a prisoner of the moment, but damn it, that, that's how we have fun up here. Uh, 42 20s, not even going to be close. Um, Drew Brees going to be rusting that arm at, at the end of the third quarter. Mm. Mm, mm, wow. Mm. Mm. Woo. Go ahead, DA. What you got? Yeah, I got this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, one for fastball, two for two for <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know, Kev. Pull a point. Uh, <laughs> <don't. laughs> Pull a <the> trigger. <laughs> All right, all right, listen, they're playing in the dome, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's in New Orleans, yes. 
I'm actually going to go with New Orleans because I don't think um, 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 the Bucks defense is that good. They got they got one or two good linebackers and one or two good linemen, but I haven't heard no one talk about their secondary all year. So, uh, and that's what Michael Thomas is and and, and Sanders are going to be running around. So, um, I'll give it to Drew this year. Yeah. Besides, okay. Tom said he'd be back next year. Tom, Tommy's coming back tomorrow. Hey, Tommy. Next year. Tommy will Tom. be back. Okay. Say so you got two years on this thing here, Tommy. He's coming back. All right. D-Dub, who you got? I'm going to get out of here. This is the, I think this is the, this is it. This is the. Yo, pick your man, A.B. D, go ahead. Yo, yo, D, go ahead and take a <laughs> sip. Go ahead and take a sip before you pull yeah. that trigger, B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your man, yeah. Your man, your man A.B. <laughs> yeah. His man, that's his man, A.B. A.B.G. Yo, man. Yo the, Saints, the Saints has gotten jerked the last two years, right? Last two years, man. They have beaten Tampa play. Bay twice this year. So what you saying? This is a sympathy award? Man, what we doing? Nah, we giving out, I don't. Giving out a trophy? I, no. Because Drew's a nice guy? I think that the Saints... Is going to pull it out. It's going to be a 15 40, 13 game. 20. 15 13, Saints pull it out. In the dome? In the dome. Low scoring Wait, game. 15 13, the whole game? Yeah, yes. whole game. Yes, 15 13. They're not, I don't think, I don't think it's going to be, it's going to be out of control. I think it's going First to be. First half, they said they're going to play with their arms yeah. behind their back. So, yeah. I think. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it's going to be close, man. I think it's I don't think it's going to be a blowout. I think it's going to be closer than we. Wow. What, what, okay. What, what that we would be. That would be the shock of the weekend, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't score. Nobody scores more than twenty points. I, I twenty points or more. I, I find it. But you know, DW, it's he took that sip. So yeah, he he's rocking with. He's rocking with. It. It might be we, fucking raiding in, in this cup. We, I don't we, know. We, <laughs> we gonna, we gonna, everybody be calling down like right after the first quarter. Yeah, you okay? Yo, D is 24, 28. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? I gotta pull my phone on silent. <laughs> <laughs> I lost I thought, all my money. I thought you said. I, yo, I, thought I, you put, said. I, I put my light bill on it. Uh, nigga, yeah, who told you to, nigga? <laughs> the word. Yo, that's but on you. you. Had, but you had said that. Yeah, you yeah, said. yeah. I said, I said a lot of shit. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, wait. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we gotta put this disclaimer out since we saying that. Oh yeah, D Dog told me yeah, 15, 13. I, I went to uh, my bookie. And yeah. I'm gonna say, go kill yourself. <laughs> you yeah, went to yeah. your bookie. That's the. Go kill yourself. That's your problem. Your book is probably gambling. Oh, yeah. I put down my light bill, my con ed, and my book. Hey, hey, look, look. Hey. We talking about that gambling, huh, fool? Yeah. I ain't, I ain't got nothing for you, bro. 15 to 13. 15 to 13, baby. Party shot. Party shot. We'll start with DW since he has this um epiphany about this game. Go ahead. Party oh, shot. man. Yo, part of shots is, man, there's so much going on in this world. I, I felt like Kyrie Irving taking in some days off. Because the world is crazy, and I understand what he what he's feeling, or you know, what he, you know, I could empathize. I guess that's the word I'm looking yeah. with what he's yeah. you know feeling. Yeah, going through. yeah. Um, if but, that's you know, what it is. If that's what it really is, this is just me. My thing is, but I still go to work. <laughs> I still go to work and do what I gotta do. Now, yo, we are now. we're in a different times, man. So you know, again, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't even know. It's it's just uh, it's just very different. I I've never seen it, nothing like this in my time, and um. Uh, so you know, we just gotta uh, hunker down, take care of one another. You know, uh, we had a great show tonight. I enjoyed ourselves. We miss Mike. Mike, come on back. And uh, yo, everybody have a good night. Oh, um, um, Eric, go ahead, sir. First off, yo, Mike Mills, don't kill me, man. I know it's two weeks in a row I'm going against your boys, man. But, yo, man, this is still all love, man. Still rooting for him, though. But, um, yo, I'm going to just say, I'm going to echo what I said last week, man. Everybody just take care of each other, man. And can we please, can we please um, put some emphasis on the word respect and act on it? Can we please get back to that point where... 
even though me and Kev may have some differences and he trying to cut my mic off and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? It's still love, you know what I'm saying? It's just a respect thing. I, if we can get to a point where I don't have to like y'all, you know what I'm saying? But if there's a respect there to where we can come together, yeah, and, and, and we can move forward, you know what I'm saying? Not just being this rut that we, that we seem to be in as humans and earthlings, I have to put that out there. Cause you know, I, I, I rock with a bunch of uh, humans up here at, on the sports chase. There's a lot of earthlings out there in them streets, but I, I ain't gonna get into all of that. Anyway, uh, yo man, great show. Everybody take care. Um, this, this stuff is, is, is going rapid, man. Yo man, lay low, man. Lay low, stay home if you can. And um, yo man, get your herbs and spices in you, man. Or I still didn't get my vitamins yet, man. Yo, pharmacy for life, man. Y'all better, yo, I don't know where y'all coming from, but coming from Canada, I need I need my stuff, bro. Yo, I tell y'all. He got people. mine. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he got his. I got to wait on yeah, mine. Yeah. Styles P, shout out to Styles P and his, his people. Yeah, shout out to Styles P and his wife, man. Word. Yeah, you got for us? Yeah, I'll just say, man, everybody, uh, peace. Get your black seed oil, it'll help you. Um. As far as what we're seeing and, and the way folks are, I, I would just want everyone to read a book. I don't give a fuck what book it is, man. <laughs> just expand your mind. You know, take your mind out of watching someone else telling you what you're thinking and what you should be thinking. We're going to tell you. Yeah, exactly. And what they end up, and, and D, what they end up doing, they lying to you and you don't even have enough foresight or enough to say to disciple what's and that's that's what exactly and it, it becomes dangerous and it becomes dangerous not only to to all of us yes Facts. because the reality is that the most of the world that doesn't have tvs in every room because they don't watch a show every day watch this watch that because they don't phones in the everybody's hand everybody got a phone they're either talking to other human beings or reading a book. I don't care what the book is, man. The book is going to make you smarter. But I read Kendall. What is the problem with that? Same thing. Just don't, you know, just have your mask on, you know, and read your Kindle. <laughs> I, I just want you to read. I want you to read. I want America to read. You know, because right now we're just going off what people say. So we don't read. Cause we, you know, it's, we're going off what they say. We gotta read. If you read what happened last week, wouldn't happen. Cause you would know, like real, real talk, that's treason. In America, treason, you can be con condemned to death. Death. Yeah. For death. treason. Yeah. That's like that's like so, gambling. That's like uh, uh, gambling in, in baseball. Yeah. You you it's big death sentence. It's a bad look if for those that love the blue wall. To kill one of the blue wall. Like we can't allegedly, they love the blue wall. Yeah, well, allegedly. They say it, allegedly, they say they say when the brother gets shot, they do. Yeah, I, I don't but trust when them. They, when they trample a, a white cop. Yo, dog, what, 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 where are we at with this show? So I'm glad they got. I, it's just a sad day, sad time that they're pulling back these ceremonies. That you know, and I it's not like I care that much that the president and the government has had for years because of these idiots, man. You know, that beefed about wearing a fucking mask and then got the end of that thing, and everybody had a damn mask on like they was a fucking Lone Ranger. <laughs> so we couldn't catch dudes' faces. I said, a bunch of punk ass motherfuckers, man. But man. it is what it is. Yeah. Peace, y'all. I love y'all. That's all. Yeah. That's hey, all, man. Hey, you can find us on um, SoundCloud.com, Sports Chases at SoundCloud. You can find us, find us on Twitter at uh, Sports Chases Podcast. You can also find us on Facebook uh, at the Sports Chases Podcast on Facebook. And you can also find us on Instagram, also at Sports Chases Podcast. Um, dot com, doing our thing on Instagram. Look for us to look for me to upload the show right afterwards, man. And uh, my part of the shot is just I'm going to continuously say, hey, 
Hey, just love one another, man. Let's be a fellow human being to a fellow human being, man. And I'm with DA, man. Read a book, man. Read a book. Get out the phone. Get out the social media. Take a break. Take a break from the TV box. Do all of that stuff, man. Take a break. Read a book. Get involved in something. Do a charity. Um, do something kind for somebody. Um, you know what I'm saying? Expand your mind. Take some time to take some deep breaths. You're going to get into conflict, man. Just, you know, take a deep breath and be like, yo, I don't want no conflict, man. Just take a deep breath and then y'all revisit another time, man. Just take nothing just want... from you from to take it to back up and retreat. Back, back up and retreat. That's right. It's nothing. Back it's nothing. Retreat. And you can talk and fight another day if need be. And hopefully it's not a fight. What we just want you to just just enjoy one another. Just be understand, guys. Retreating is why humans evolved. Hello. Because they did retreat. Yeah, if you fight sure. all the time, we wouldn't have been here. Yeah. So that's true. That's true. Retreat. But I hate to end that on such a somber note. Somber oh, note. Yeah. Somber. Yeah. Sports right. Chasers podcast. Here we are. Yeah. yeah, this is a Sports Chasers podcast, man. Hey, yo, that's why I choose such this upbeat music right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, on the behalf of myself. Flex. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to my mans and them. Yo. <laughs> Yo, you got him down packed, man. Yo, he shout out them. This is Kevin Owen, your host and moderator. Yo, on behalf of Mike and his absence with his... Less than 18 hours of PTO time. Daryl yeah. D. Del Warren. No donations, Dorian dog. Page, all Britain. And the angry one, James Eric Warren. This is the Sports Chasers Podcast, man. Yo, we'll holla at you next week. Same time, same channel. Hey, Three. we can also be found on YouTube also. Sports Chasers Podcast at YouTube.com. That's Michael's job to be hosting this. But, you know, like I said, he's 18 hours minus in the hole for PTO days. Mike, we love you, man. We'll see you next week, bro. Or when you go to that YouTube page, make sure that you like, you subscribe, leave a comment. We'll get back to you. You know what I'm saying? Hit us up, man. You heard, you heard. Sports chases, man. Yo, we're going to do it bigger and better in 2021, man. As soon as this COVID thing is over, we're going to travel, host a couple of shows, invite a couple of people come through, have, have a little dope. debate. Yeah. Yo. But yo, we got to get be safe, man. Y'all be good. Y'all have a great night. Y'all take care. Yeah. Yo, hey, Kev, how long, how long you um you on call all night for the job? <laughs>